Welcome to another Realmsmith Live D&D session. It's been a couple weeks since we've been here. We're so excited tonight. We are short of Roscoe. Jeff has a hard time getting here on most days. Um, so we're just going to be patient and uh, talk smack about him until he gets here. Which um, is different from... <laughs> which is different <laughs> from never. Um, Joel is also not with us. He is in Vegas right now at a trade show. Um, so Manon will not be with us this evening. Um, which is sad, but uh, he'll be back at the table next session. When we with, not with us, and so permanently. <laughs> <laughs> he is currently not here. Here. Yes. <laughs> In, yes. And my iPad just crashed, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so just a little uh, uh, view behind the curtain, as it were. Just before we went live, I dropped a whole can of ginger ale on my keyboard. The internet wasn't working. <laughs> it's just been that kind of day. Yep. But, uh, what's oh. that? Yep. Yeah, we're good. That's, uh, that's your laptop Everyone keyboard. say hi to yeah. Gavin, uh, who is our producer this evening. Go. Um, he's going to be taking care of uh, things and moderating a little bit. Um couple things. Lots and lots of announcements. Uh, and we're, I'm killing time until Jeff gets here, really. Uh, um, actually, Gavin, can we shift the camera that way just a touch on that? Just so we can get a bit more of Todd there. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> his mom's tuning in today. Just a touch. Yeah, his mom's... I'm, she might be. His she has tuned in. Tuned in his mom said she's going to tune in. <laughs> All right, so Bond, lots of... There will be a question and answer afterwards. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I want to say that we're so incredibly thankful to the community. We've reached 3,000 subs. We've actually surpassed 3,000 subs on YouTube. Thank you so much. Yay to everyone and all your support. Really, really super appreciate it. Um, it's been a crazy, crazy uh, adventure, and uh, we just keep growing, and it's awesome, and we love it. Mm -hmm. uh, tonight's stream is only on Facebook, <laughs> now that I just talked about YouTube. We will be uploading a uh, an HD version of the stream um, for sure uh, after this uh, to YouTube, but the reason we're on Facebook is what I'll tell you about in just a second, um, so not just yet. Uh, next announcement. We um, mystery music. We've yeah, yeah, I know. I'm working on it. My iPad is opening up here. Um, our next announcement is that you can become a member of the realm. We've had it uh, live for about a week now, um, and basically what that means is you subscribe. Head to our uh, website at www.realmsmith.tv and you become a member of the realm and you get exclusive uh, behind the scenes footage as well as access to our private Facebook group uh, so that you can have access to us directly. We'll do monthly hangouts um, as well as exclusive uh, tutorial videos. Um, and so we're going to be releasing our Beholder tutorial series very soon. Part five of that is only for members of the realm. So uh, definitely jump on that. Um, we're very, very excited about that. The next crazy, super exciting thing is that we've been talking about our crate, um, our encounter crate for weeks now, um, and we're happy to say that we've launched pre-orders today. So if you go to realmsmith.tv, uh, you can sign up uh, and pre-order our uh, encounter crate um, and our layer crate. So we talked about only having one crate. We've actually launched two crates. The encounter crate is, is a smaller crate. Um, that this, uh, for, for June, will be themed an owlbear encounter. And so you'll get an owlbear mi uh, miniature uh, from the wonderful people at WizKids, nice. as well as some paper cr craft terrain and some candles and some other things. I won't tell you everything because it's a mystery box, but definitely <laughs> pre-order that. <laughs> I stopped myself a little soon there. Um, uh, you can uh, sign up for a month, so it's recurring month to month. You pay month to month. Or you can get a whole year uh, in advance. If you do that, you get the equivalent of two crates free. Uh, if you sign up for the entire year. So that's awesome. Nice. Then the layer crate is the wizard sanctum. And so you'll get all kind of wizard craziness as well as awesome epic papercraft terrain. Mm -hmm. So it's basically the encounter terrain, uh, the counter crate on steroids. Yeah, and, and is it, correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys talked about doing an even larger one and you're going to call it the, the master craters, right? <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that incorrect? <laughs> I think that one got cut. Slightly. <laughs> Uh, no master crates. <laughs> no master crates. No, we don't. Uh, we don't endorse master crating. I hear you might go blind. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. All right. Sorry, mom. If you're watching. No, she's not watching. 
Sorry, Todd's mom. <laughs> Sorry, Todd's mom. He's <laughs> also not watching. Um, Wait, I gotta check. Yeah. Uh, already talked about the Beholder tutorial. That is coming. We are working really, really hard to get that. We wanted to get our uh, crate pre-orders and our members of the Realm subscription out. Uh, but again, make sure that you check out realmsmith.tv for the uh, members of the Realm subscription, as well as uh, our monthly crate pre-orders. Uh, get on them now. We've only we've limited the crates to a hundred of the encounter crate and fifty of the layer crate. So jump on them. There is tons of interest. We expect them to go fairly fast. So do not hesitate. Uh, the idea behind the crates is that when we ship them to you, we ship everything that you need to follow along with their tutorials to your door. And so basically, we will have tutorials that will walk you through how to paint an owl bear, and then you'll have everything right in front of you, including paints if you add that as a pack um, to your crate. So enjoy that. All right. Um, the last thing that we're going to do, Jeffrey isn't here, um, but we're also, um, our intention, I guess, for this stream is to make it incredibly interactive. And so moving forward, we want you guys uh, and gals to feel like you're sitting at our table uh, and are a player in our game. Uh, and we've gotten that from a lot of people. Oh, it feels like we're a part of the game. feels like we're right there. So we want to make you even more a part of this game. And so the idea here is that we're actually going to take your votes using Facebook in order to change the course of the adventure, as it were. So we're going to start off with a, with a, with a quick... Um, and uh, eventually, members of the realm will get extra voting privileges and all of that kind of stuff as well. So that, those are some uh, perks for being a member of the realm. So right now, uh, Gavin, if you will launch our voting system in the HUD... I don't know how many people are watching, but... Oh, there's people screaming <laughs> in the background. Oh, that's crazy. It's the craziness. Oh. All right, is it up? Yep. All right. So here is the idea. This is how this works. Um, Basically, you will see emojis on the top of the screen that correspond to the four players at the table. Um, Todd, being McGill, is a sad face just because McGill has been <laughs> a little emo lately. Um, Roscoe is the wow face mostly because every time he plays, <clears throat> he's... At some point, he at, says something and we're like, wow. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, and then, of on course, the, the happy face. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Vor, who is a uh, Ang half-orc, is yeah. just, yeah, he Mad gets the rage. Yeah. And uh, so he's angry face. Yeah. Angry. Happy face. <laughs> and you have the opportunity to give me some love as well, and I'm the heart right in the middle. Um, what I will suggest, so at this point, uh, what you do basically is just like the uh, current stream with the um, emoji uh above each person's face. That mm -hmm. totally doesn't make any sense. Let's say that again. We're gonna vote for inspiration. And so you have the opportunity to give one of these fine gentlemen or myself inspiration for the game to be spent in this session. So right now, go ahead and vote. And you guys can't vote on yourselves. Oh. What? Uh, what? No, I didn't, so we, I didn't vote. What? No, who did no, that? Dude. I didn't do that. Who would even, come on, man. <laughs> We're all on we our own. We wouldn't do that. <laughs> That's a good idea. We wouldn't do that. So, <laughs> here, I'm going to change my vote right now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to vote for myself, face. too. <laughs> I don't we might as well just all vote for face. ourselves, and then it's even. But I can't even get on to the... Uh, Jay actually plays really the keyboard children. back here. <laughs> he's, heard he's, he's said he's built Jindre <laughs> along this keyboard. It's actually a Casio. <laughs> a Casio. <laughs> That sounds pretty good for a Casio. Okay. Um, sorry, that was too far. Too far? Oh, Todd. Oh, uh, he just broke the universe. Um, all right, so how are we doing on those votes there, Gavin? We've got one vote from Mike Kelly here. We have one vote. One vote? One vote. Four votes, guys. What? what? It's for me, we just, right? We all voted. How is that? How Was is it that? restricted to members of the... Nope. It's yeah. not. It should be working. See, this is why we're doing it, is just to kind of test this out to see if it's actually working. Only the... Uh, yeah. I can't see the stream right oh, now. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah no, do you, throw your hat hats in. Throw your hat. Big hats so, faces oh, in. So, so I think there's just a delay it. in the stream, yeah, so... Yeah, there's delay. There's definitely... Okay, so we'll give that a couple more minutes to go. Right. And uh, and you guys can... I have a... I have a... 
A D&D &D question that's been waiting for a while, if, if you have time. Just a minute. So, uh, just hold on there. Uh, so we, uh, we will be using this voting system later on in the session. We're going to do it twice today, and at every session we're going to do it a little bit more. Um, see, we all voted, and we're only getting two votes tallied here. That's mm. Only the ha-ha is really great. cute. Uh, there's one ha-ha. Yes. There's... Send your ha-ha's in. I don't know why I'm getting, um... My stream's not working here. Do you guys have stream going? Oh yeah. What, what's what's the what's the tally at, David? Oh man, I really want to participate, and then I realized I haven't. Uh, well, I, speakers. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. There's four I can't votes. Talk to him. One for you. Yep. Uh, two for Balabar, and one for Vor. Woo! Thanks, Todd, for voting for me. Thanks, yeah, Todd's thank mom, you. for voting thank, for me. Thank you, <laughs> Todd's mom. Okay, so. Mom. For All right, fine. <laughs> okay. I didn't expect it to go that way. But Balabar has inspiration for this session. Woo! Enjoy that inspiration. Thank you, you uh, fan that. that's out there, Gavin. And that has to be Can you have it So once? I got to use it. And that has <laughs> to be used in this session. Uh, if you don't, you lose it. All right, I'm going to. Uh, right. Okay, Gavin, we can get rid of that. Good votes, team. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Good job, folks. So you see how that works? That will continue to happen throughout the session. Uh, we will do a couple more vote opportunities uh, throughout the session in order to do that. I can't watch the stream right so now. So excited. Um, I'm going to turn this oh, stream I see out. how you've placed mm -hmm. the emojis right above our head, too. Yeah, well. that's the plan. It's pretty hot. Mm -hmm. Nobody voted for Jeff, of course, because he's late. Well, he's not even here. Man. Not even Jeff voted for Jeff, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know. So. All right, so... <laughs> Uh, so you had a D&D &D question before we start. We're killing time until Roscoe gets yeah, here. Yeah, I mean, if, if, you, if you've got time until Roscoe... How does a D20 work? work? So, <laughs> so I, had a, I had a question about minor illusions. So I can make an object yes. appear within a five-foot cube. Yeah. Things can pass through it. It doesn't sure. make sound, doesn't move, none of that. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking that because you can see it, it is reflecting light. Can I make a reflective object? Like, uh, can I make a shiny wood? And if so, can I make a piece of glass that's reflective? Could I make a mirror? And could I use that mirror to see around the corner? No. Why? I don't know. It, it, <laughs> that's a good question, right? <laughs> if the it object can question. be seen, it's reflecting light. Could I make a mirror that would reflect I'm gonna say, light? I'm going to say, I'm going to make a call and say no. I, I would, mm. I would question, say though. probably no as well, because... It's you mentally creating the object. So the image of the object and what it may be reflecting is what you are deciding that it will. So what if I make like a shiny piece of wood? Would you be able to see like kind of, you wouldn't be able to see kind of reflection I would over say it? If, what makes you, it shiny? if you aren't cognitively, like That's cognitively really adding the reflection yourself as yeah. the person doing the illusion, then it's not there. So it can make a really crappy <clears> reflection. <throat> That doesn't change. No, I would agree with Brandon. You're creating this horn, and it's probably detectable because it wouldn't be um, reflecting light. Like, if somebody really looked close, like, that would be one of the things that would stand out. I, I think the bottom line is what Brandon said. So you were creating something that you were making up in your head. If you're using it to look around a corner, and you don't know what's around the <coughs> corner, then how can you make it reflect what's not around the corner? Yeah. So oh. it would just so always reflect think if, if what it you has think some is around. Luster. You need to create a mirror spell. So you That's could you use mean. it to try and trick somebody. So you create a mirror and then pretend there's a reflection of yes. something that doesn't move the, around yes. the corner. That, the that, I would allow that. Yeah. Yeah. That. What do you say? So. Yeah. All right. So I guess uh, I guess we'll just start without uh, Roscoe. Uh, where we left off last time? Actually, let's do intros. Let's start with yeah. intros. David. I'm um, David. I play Balabar, who is a rogue gnome. Um, I I lie a lot. I lie a lot. That's not true. <laughs> he lies a little bit. Uh, I'm Brandon. I play Vor, who is a half orc, half drow fighter, formerly a gladiator, and now a member of the team. And it feels real good inside. Oh, yeah. We lied to him. You want some right? milk? I do. <laughs> I do. I love milk. I'm Todd. I play McGill. McGill is a wood elf ranger um, with a bit of a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> a bit. He kind of hates dwarves. Fat face. <laughs> Any race that isn't an elf, kind of hate. Like a mirror with a PSG. It's really Minor weird that like an dwarves object is becoming of McGill's best friend. <laughs> 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 and, and there, um, he's not here, but there <laughs> will be Jeff, who is uh, an Air Genasi, um, 
actually. There he is. Yeah, Bard. Eric Jadassi Bard. He plays the lute, and he makes some interesting uh, Bard spell illusion deals. And uh, He's not very good at the lute. Like, we don't want to tell him. Yeah, he hasn't really wowed anybody with any performance yet. Uh, so, as far as we're concerned, he's better in his own mind than he is in real life. So, this <laughs> is oh <my God. laughs> what happens if you're late. <laughs> if, and if you roll badly every time you try and do performances, that's not going to help your cause. So, as far as RPing goes, we're pretty sure he's pretty bad. But in real life, he might be good. I don't know. He makes a rhyme or two. He Anyone does? remember uh, yeah. that clothing line, Coconut Joe? No. From like the 90s. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember a legend Hypercolor. in his own mind. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, that's exactly there it. There you go. So, anyway, it may sound like we're being really mean to him. Um, we, we are. We are. are. We yeah. Are. Uh, All right, so. <laughs> where we left off? <laughs> <laughs> um, there were lots of uh, feel badsies because you guys were at a noble party. And at that noble party, the uh, Lord Roaring Horn. Um, bestowed you guys uh, with some gifts yeah. Oh, yeah. of the magical item variety. Uh, unfortunately, Roscoe, who is yeah. no, not with us right now, and Joel, who plays Manon, were uh, engulfed in a little bit of a performance, performing for the nobility that were at the uh, party. Um, and they decided they didn't want to go, and then they... Uh, that might be why they're not here tonight, actually. <laughs> because <laughs> they don't have magical items. They're that sulky. might actually be why. Yeah. There Howdy. might be some sulkiness yeah. uh, going on. <clears throat> that is uh, a positive. <clears throat> Positively not, but whatever. Yeah. Anyways. Um, you guys have uh, come down the stairs. You in shining mithril armor that you just uh, received um, from Lord <laughs> Roaringhorn. And you guys have walked into the main area... And everyone cheered really loud, and the two thought it was because of the performance, mm. um, but it wasn't necessarily like, um, because they were pretty impressed with their armor. Um, what do you guys do? Um, let's, let's do I see McGill? Yep. Yeah, we just came you. down. We just walked down you the stairs. Yeah, but, but like he's not blocked by people. We can see him clearly. Yep. Yeah, no, you guys are standing in front of the staircase. Well, I came down. Oh, we just came down. I helped you don your armor. Oh, that's right. You were yeah. with me. Um, that's right. I don't know. So, I guess. We just kinda okay. To recap a little bit more, we 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 asked him about Cedric, who died, no, and his father, Cyric. 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 Oh, Cyric. I keep calling him Cedric. And Cyric, do yeah. Cyric's and dad. Do. Yes. Um. Artist Keimer. Yeah, Cyric's dad is Artist Keimer, and we're trying to find him so we can notify him of his son, and also that there's uh, frost giants that want him very badly. Mm -hmm. And we also told Lord Roaring Heart. Horn. 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 Um, about the uh, ordning. Yes. Yeah, so he, Which he already knew. He gave it. us he stuff to kind of help us out about that. with Correct. that. Did he help us uh, with he finding gave you artists? winged boots? No, I chose the thing <laughs> that looked like a stein and it turned out to be a <laughs> flashlight that finds invisible people. Which I thought actually was totally useless until I thought about the session last time and realized mm. we ran into two people that turned invisible. Yeah. So of course I got her at the end of the session. Uh, uh, can I ask uh, you? Is how there, fortuitous! Is there a limit to how often I can use this Beacon. flashlight thing? Do you know? Is I it, added it to your. Is, is it green? green? You can take a look at it. Okay. Well, you guys, uh, let me know what we're doing. I'm gonna examine my lantern. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, those two uh, are, like I said, uh, kind of in awe. Um, right. Manin's uh, jaw hits the floor when he sees your armor. Uh, and he kind of walks over to you, and Roscoe is tuning up the loot. Looks like he's going to potentially do another tune um, uh. as you as you wait. What do you guys do? I don't know what you're going to do, but uh, I think I'm going to head back to the uh, the inn. Tuck in for the night. I suppose we haven't been here long. No, we might as well chat with some people. I Get some food. I did promise I you that they had great milk here. I did, that's how I got you here. Speaking of which, I've seen no cows. Oh. For a dairy farm, it's very sparse. <laughs> oh, I did tell you it was a dairy farm as well. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they keep them, uh, it's down the road, but they bring the milk here. <laughs> okay. Let's go, we're well, going to go go find a server. How many five-foot cows can you mine there? illusion? <laughs> <laughs> Are there any servers nearby? Um, give me a perception check. Twenty-three. Wow. Uh, there are three. 
actually. There's one kind of closer to you, one kind of in the middle of the room, and then one that you see just ducked into a server, you, you assume. Okay, uh, I wave one over. Okay. I'll wave as well. And the one that's regally. closest to you is kind of carrying around a, a tray of hors d'oeuvres and kind of okay. sees you and kind of walks over. Sir, bring me the most expensive milk money <laughs> can buy. <laughs> what? But don't charge it to me. Um, Milk. Yes, sir, I would like some milk. I've been told that this party specifically would have a lot of milk. Oh, crap. Uh, Roscoe's <laughs> calling me. I'll be right back. I'm going to walk off through the crowd towards Roscoe. <laughs> I only came to this party because I was told there would be milk. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, he, uh, he says, oh, um, milk, you say. Uh, yes. We may have some milk. It's not on the menu, but I can definitely absolutely check for you. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> I would very much appreciate the largest milk you can give me. So he walks off. Uh, oh, before you go, bring back some mead for me as well. Oh, oh okay. Well, All right. Stay in after no problem. I'm not there anymore. Thank I want to find a, a different waiter. Okay, so you can go to the one that's kind of milling yeah. out in the middle. It's a female. I, I'm gonna. Con- I, I'm gonna. Female. I'm gonna ask. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you guys have some milk are available? Uh, milk. Yeah. For any, yourself. Any kind of animal. Uh, just a milk. Um, uh, just like a little glass. Yes. Could you maybe. please put a couple of drops of lemon and bring it back to me? Uh, milk with lemon. Just a couple drops. Just to thicken it up just a little bit. Wouldn't lemon dilute it, not thicken it up? No, it'll cause it to curdle. It'll be a little thicker then. Oh. Anyways, just a um, medium glass of milk. Do you want the lemon on the side, or do you want it inside the milk? Two drops in the milk. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hey. oh, yes. <laughs> hey, we told oh, everyone really. you're a bard, so you have to Dirty sing the whole way in. <clears throat> Nobody Down goes, goes the port colors. We, we've been talking about milk. Okay, so that's what? Milk. Milk. Really? You got goat's milk, milk, cow's milk, <laughs> camel <laughs> milk. Like this? Coconut milk. Exactly like that. He brought milk. <laughs> okay, oh, actually, <laughs> oh, he actually, he actually knew, brought milk. Oh, two percent. So. That's All awesome. Right. All right, so, so I, I asked for for a medium sized glass. He's been watching the feed milk outside. With two drops uh-huh. of milk. Yeah, so All right, sir. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. She kind of scurries off. I raced to the grocery store after I heard you made milk and ran back and got some. Yeah, brilliant. That would have happened. Genius. Yeah, can I just follow her over to wherever she's going? At some point, she's going to go through a door or to a kitchen, and I'll just wait outside the door. Okay. Um, all right, Roscoe, get in here. Okay. Roscoe Pico Uh So then, um, at that point, um, Manin walks over. I'm not even going to attempt a Scottish accent. Um, Manin walks over to, uh, to Yuvor, and he's like, Where'd you get that? Well, you know... The guy that owns this place? Yes. Turns out to be a really nice guy. Where's mine? I don't know. Uh, maybe if you see Mr. Rolling Horn, you could ask him if he could take you up to his fancy room. <laughs> Am I beside him? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, elbow him in the ribs. Or, el- <clears throat> uh, the- Ow! Dude! <laughs> right. Um... <clears throat> that probably won't happen, uh, because um, there I'd is no room up there. We are just out on the balcony. Oh yes, we were out on the balcony, but well, still. Um, giants. Oh, if you go up there, you don't see anything. Giants in the uh, ordering. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm following your lead, and and I'm very confused. <laughs> I've no idea. <laughs> I think he's had too much milk. <laughs> I haven't had any yet. They're still waiting. If they been, take way if too long. Been until a sour milk, I'll be again. Uh, how come nobody has milk on demand? Britain Chando was much better at this. So, uh, Man- Manon says, uh, "Oh, I'll go find him," and he kind of walks off and like trudges through the the crowd trying to find what this gentleman. What am I supposed to say? Uh, Roscoe, just to bring you up to speed, uh, you guys are still in the common room area of the um, the, uh, the second story common room area where all the nobles are kind of milling about. Right. You just finished your tune. They walk down in shining armor. Um, you have the loot in hand, and Manon has just stormed off kind of through the crowd, um, and these guys have kind of gone to servers to go talk to 
Do I know why man has stormed off to the crowd? No, you didn't hear. Oh, okay. Over the milling of the crowd. Okay. Tell them that, yeah. We're given the armor to fight in the arena. Okay. My name isn't in yet. I don't know <laughs> that. Okay. <coughs> All right. Um. The thing is, these are new to these two are new to our group. They are. They've not been with us through the whole thing. We can't trust them with That's everything right. I, yet. I I trust Madden and I trust Roscoe. They've fought by our side. I see no reason not to trust them. They fight honorably. Wait, is th- are you discussing whether uh, men and I are worthwhile companions? Did he just... Sure. He just joined it. Okay. Roscoe, he just showed up! <laughs> <laughs> but you, were, was you were at the stage, so I want to know how much you how were How far away? I want, oh, okay. I, I well, want okay. a Give perception me, check. Yeah, absolutely. Give me a perception check. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> 21. 21. Yeah. All right. Uh, so he heard most of it. And he kind of like came in and kind of slinked in while you guys were having most of the conversation. Drifted it on a Janassi fart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like bitterness to me. <laughs> what is that smell? Uh, shortly, uh, the, the female comes over to you and gives you this milk yeah. curdled. Lemony. Yeah, I just, glass of I, just milk. I just, I just. Soon after, sorry, the man comes and gives you a tall, thin glass of some sort of thick milk. So, so I just Thank wanted to be much. slightly thicker welcome. than the normal milk. Just, just a little bit thicker. Okay. Not horrible. Not whatever. Just a little thicker. And I'm gonna bring it over to him. Okay. I'll be like, uh, I'm gonna see his glass. Can I see his glass? Is there? Yeah. And say, don't, don't drink. <laughs> drink that one. That's. But the there's cheap. a lot of it. That's the cheap one. This is the good one. I'll just take both. Thank you. All right. <laughs> but you're going to like that one a lot more. I got that one just for you. I'll try it first. Yes, you should. You'll notice it's a little richer. Okay. I Give me an inside <laughs> check. <laughs> <for. laughs> I, uh, I uh, made some friends, and they gave me the good stuff. 19. Oh, my gosh. Uh, you think something's up. And, in <laughs> fact, when you, when you hold them like this, <laughs> you smell... Something that milk shouldn't smell like. It doesn't smell fresh. It is oh fresh. It is fresh. sour. What did you do of lemonade. I did nothing to it. It's the finest milk that they had down there. You're acting sneaky. I paid extra for that. And if they gave me bad milk, <laughs> I'm going to go get my money back. They didn't. Well, I got asked for the finest. <laughs> that's why. Uh, give if that's not good... I'm going. Me? I'm going to go yeah, talk to them. Uh, Thirteen. Oh, here we go. Sixteen. I'm going to say. Perception. Oh no. I'm going to say nineteen. 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 Um, Gavin, did I did I add a picture of a female on that thing? I didn't. Hmm. I'm going to send it to you right now, and if you can add it. By the way, Gavin, who has the hideous laugh in the background? Is that just part of the track, or is there an imp That's somewhere? That's being controlled by our DM. It's not, it's not, it's not it's you? Not yeah, you've okay. just offended the DM. Good luck yeah, to you. Yeah. Well, since you're part of the party, <laughs> good luck to you as well. Have we met? Oh. My name's Leroy. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry, Roscoe, what are you doing while I take care of this? Well, um, I believe I was asking McGill um, what it was he was looking for in an ideal companion, since apparently he's not sure if I qualify as of yet. All I'm saying is you have not been with us that long. Uh, it takes some time to, to be part of a trusted group. Oh, I see. Vor, um, do you have any concerns about my trustability? I have concerns about this milk. Can you smell it? It smells funky so, to me. Let's see what that smells like. It's the finest milk. I Shall I do another perception <laughs> roll? <laughs> yes. Oh. Uh, investigation check. <laughs> oh, even better. What, you re roll it? You can't re roll it. I think that crappy roll yeah, counts. Oh, Just yeah. change the modifier. I sent it to iMessage in my. Yeah. Oh, well, in that case, it's 11. 11. All right. Um, it's definitely sour. Um, you're not oh, sure come why. On. But you smell, come on! You, there, there's a hint of something. Something's up. Before I, do, what kind it of milk take do you much enjoy? To tell. Do you enjoy fresh milk or slightly spoiled? I like milk that hasn't been tampered with. 
Well, I don't think that this has been tampered with. I just think it perhaps it's been left out. I'm going to ask her back. Can, can, she... can I smell it? Yes. How about you right, take a big do. swig of it? I'll take a little sip. Big swig. You make constitution sip. check. Eight. So I just give a little... <laughs> it comes up uh, into your throat a little bit. Yeah. And but you hold it down. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm so sorry for it. It's obviously they gave me a bad one. I'll be right back. I gotta go bring it back. I don't know why they gave this to me. I'm so sorry. I tried to get you the best milk. Paid extra for it too, huh? I did. Well, I'll just go walk off. Okay. Now you pour it in a plant. Yeah. Uh, well, like the money grab I paid extra for something. <laughs> so I lift my helmet. Did I hear that? <laughs> I don't know. Come on. What were you asking me before, Roscoe? Um, well, I, I couldn't help but overhear from the 30 feet away, uh, the lucky lucky chance, uh, about um, my suitability as, a, I guess, a, a companion. I mm. find you to be very agreeable. You fight honorably, and you've shown great gusto in combat. So I would suppose, then, where is this um, inkling of concern arising from? Or is it simply, McGill, you have a difficult time trusting anyone who hasn't been with you for, say, years? Oh, I've not seen you fight at all, other than uh, cast a uh, illusion on that uh, um, ship that we Followed were... Followed up, I believe, by an actual fireball, hence the reason that they're both went up in flames. Had you forgotten that part? I suppose you had. I'm going to be back. Fair enough. It was pretty effective. I'm going to be back at this point, right? Back to them. Back. Hey, the uh, so back. across the room, um, <laughs> through the crowd, uh, you see someone that you recognize. It takes you a moment to place her. Uh, what was your perception? What was the role? Uh, 19. 19. Um, somebody who looks incredibly like Beldora from Bryn Shander. <laughs> um, Sorry. Do you have her up, Gavin? Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you remember, kind of long, red hair, um, curly. Uh, but you remember that before. Uh, no, sorry, no, dark no. Brown Beldora hair. was no. part of that uh, secret organization. Oh, knows that, though. yeah. You guys don't know that, though. No. Um, but instead, you remember that she was in kind of street clothes yes. before. Um, <clears throat> uh, whereas now, she looks like she's dressed in finery. Um and she catches your eye from across the room and kind of nods at you and then kind of does this. Okay. Towards the towards the stairs down. It smells fresh. <laughs> I know it's not as thick as you'd probably prefer. I cast Pass Without Trace. Okay. And just stealthily make my way through. Give me a stealth check. Gonna be good. Gonna be good. So good. 21. 21. Uh, including the plus 10? Oh, 31. Jeez. Um, so, <clears throat> as Batman is wont to do, all of a sudden you turn around, but Gil's gone. <laughs> um, and uh, as you guys are all talking about milk, all of a sudden McGill is, is nowhere to be seen. Uh, you have no problem um, fading into the crowd, making your way through, and you start to kind of weave and dodge through the crowd um, t towards the door. What do you guys want to do at this point? Do you guys want to stay at the party? Do you guys have anything you want to accomplish here other than milk? <clears throat> By the way, do you have any tarts left? I do. Have you gotten more proficient at throwing them? We can try. Why don't you stand over there? Oh no, I was going to suggest one of the nobles, of course. Perhaps it does make perfect, you know. Have you become proficient? I'm working on it. I see. Perhaps uh, you should inquire if there's a bakery nearby or there's a chef that can make you some I'm gonna, more. I'm going to try to stealthily walk away. Okay. <laughs> you can just stealth walk away from me. I'm just going to try to like... <laughs> from listen, I'm sure. Sure. Check. I just want to back up between check. two people <laughs> and go away. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my incendiary. <laughs> <laughs> you see him kind of pass 16. through two people. I got 16. Yeah, he passed through two people, but you were watching him at that point. <laughs> And I'm just like back He was this, <laughs> and then people pass, and he's still going backwards. <laughs> and then he pass again, and he's still going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Very well, what do we do? <laughs> All right. You uh, turn the corner, and um, you don't see her. 
Um, the stairwell is empty. One noble kind of turns the corner at the bottom and starts to walk up. And kind of like, ooh, kind of looks at you uh, kind of up and down as she continues up. Can I use a survival check to... You sure can. Yeah. You trying to track her? Yeah. 14. Uh, 20. Okay. Um, you are able to um, just surmise kind of the, the, the shift of, of movement that's gone through the area. Um, and you imagine she's gone down the stairs. Um, there isn't a lot to track within the, within the house, but the fact that you are as good as you are, you can tell that given the areas and the entryways and the exits, that this is definitely the way they should end. Okay. Um, you head down those stairs. Uh, you come to the front door, uh, and the guard is standing there. She, again, nowhere to be seen. Uh, the guard is standing there in front of the cabinet with the weapons in it. And he says, are, are, you, are you leaving? Okay, so I still have pass within a trace. Oh, you do. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Um, you, you, you're like, oh, sorry. So that noble wouldn't have seen you. I'm sorry. Uh, you come ac- around and you feel like you are as stealthy as pos- as you can possibly be. You come across the guard and you're just kind of strolling out and he puts his arm out and stops you. And says, are you leaving? I, um, I'm escorting the, the lady that just left here. Alright, you want your weapons? Yes, please. Alright, go ahead. Because you're pretty impressed with the fact that he could see you. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, kind of the way that you were gingerly walking and, and, and how nobody else had noticed you, that, that it was pretty impressive. Um, all right, you collect your weapons. Um, mm-hmm. You head out the door. Uh, as I'm going, did you happen to see which way she turned? He says, I, I didn't. Hmm. Wasn't paying attention. Right. Okay. Uh, gonna continue to track. Okay. Um, you come out uh, the front door. And she stand, she's leaning up against the, the kind of the side of the of the villa with her back to the wall. <clears throat> and she says, hmm, funny seeing you here. Not so funny. It's a large, populous town. Uh, funny seeing you in that clothing. Oh, this. I clean up all right. Aye, I'd say you do, lass. Are you coming on to me? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a little bit. Right. Not at all. I'm just wondering what brings you down here from Bridge Hander. Hmm. I need you to get your friends together. I want to show you something. What? All of them? Yes. Well, the ones you trust. Guess I'm staying there. Where are we meeting? Yeah. Out here is fine. Right, um, and what you have to show us, it's here. It's in Waterdeep. It's in Waterdeep. That's right. And, uh, what you have to show us, what's it all about? (laughs) (laughs) Dude, do you have to, uh, cut that audio out? (laughs) Come on. I I don't, I don't think we... (laughs) I don't think we have rights to that song. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, I think we're gonna oh, have to good actually blank out that under audio. 16 seconds. <laughs> what do you want to show me? Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what do you do? I honestly continue to question because uh, it seems okay, so what do you ask? too cloak and dagger. Um, so all circumspect uh, to have you want us to to follow you somewhere, and we don't know what your what your um, plans are. We fought together. We've been watching you for some time. What do you mean, we? I mean we. You'll find out. Grab your friends. There's not much I can say here. Right. Well, give me some time. There are a rowdy bunch of these guys. I know. All right, so I turn, go to the guard. Turns out she doesn't need need me to escort her, so I'm going back in to grab my friends. Rolls his eyes. Weapons, please. I hand them over to him. Yep. Other than the 
these arrows here, your Lord uh, Roaring Horn gave to me, so I'll keep those with me. Give me a persuasion check. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, he says, um, "We'll be quick." Okay. So I go in. I find Vor. Um, do you remember Beldora from Burnshendar? Yes. She's outside and wants all of us to join her. Um, now I don't know Roscoe <coughs> or the, uh, I've got him, I've pulled him aside. <laughs> Just so you know. Now I don't know this Roscoe <laughs> or, um, Bannon as well as you do, but I trust you. What's your feelings on the two of them? Should we bring them along? She wants us to bring our whole, our whole party. Well, I can't tell you the full of their character, but I can tell you that they fight honorably. Let me put it this way, Vor. If you trust them, I trust them. As of right now, what I have seen of them allows me to trust them. I have not seen anything that calls them into question, like Fair with enough. Malabar. Fair enough. What? <laughs> you are not here. <laughs> You're still trying to <laughs> steer yourself in the crowd. <laughs> Malabar is certainly one of a kind, but I do trust him. He's been there. I, I trust him now, but earlier, not, not as much. Uh, he's proven himself recently. Yeah. I he's proven himself. Oh, I don't say I trust him with everything, but I trust him with my life. I, I wouldn't let him look after kids or... Or, oh, so <laughs> or shiny objects, but... <laughs> You gather up Manon and uh, uh, Roscoe and uh, I'll get Balabar. We're going to meet outside the front door. All right. Let's go. All right. So, so I, I go to find uh, Manon and uh, Roscoe. I'm an investigation check. Okay. And Roscoe's right there with you. It, can it be aided by no, shouts I pulled, of I Manon? Pulled him aside. Yeah, he pulled him aside, so I'm at least three feet away from him. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's All four, right. so he's got to search. <laughs> that is a five. See? <laughs> See? <laughs> Roscoe has all but vanished. <laughs> <coughs> Roscoe! Madden! <clears throat> Roscoe! <laughs> Madden! See, Roscoe's right there in front of you. Hi! <laughs> you're yelling at me. Oh, oh, oh. I, I you're a little short. I was looking yeah. over your head. Yeah. Um, can, do you know where Madden is? Um, no, I saw him storm off. I, I think that was after a conversation that one of you must have had with him. Yes, he was mad that I'm so shiny. Let's um, let's find him. Oh, of course, that was it, yes. Um, yes, let's do that. Let's go find... Wh why are we searching for a man? Um, because we are needed outside. By whom? Uh, a woman named Beldora. And we had met her long ago in Brinshan. Fought ha along with her. She needs to speak with us Have now. I met Beldora? You have not, no. But now is your chance. Would you like to come? Well, I don't know if I feel that I'd be welcomed by everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I vouch for your trustworthiness. I believe that if you're talking about McGill, that he'll be fine with you. And is your strength of the party sufficient to convince all others? I don't know, but I try. I do my best. Hmm. It, it's not well, easy. We've, we've met people that are not trustworthy, and so <coughs> at times we question their motives. Yes, but balabar has been with the party for years now, so... I'm sorry, I haven't known him for conversation, years. never mind. <laughs> I haven't known him for years, but months. I've Very known well. him for months. Um, Alright, I suppose, if you feel that you can convince McGill that I might be worthwhile having around. Well, I certainly do believe that you are. I'm not sure that he knows of the resurrection that you performed, or, or some of the other yeah. amazing feats you've done. I suppose I shouldn't concern myself to, self too much with whatever McGill thinks. I mean, he's a ranger after all. You have to make certain allowances for that kind of person. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Never mind then. Shall we go find Manon? Yes. Yes, let's do that. Manon! Um, you guys can't find him. He seems like he's not here. Okay. I finish my milk and put it down somewhere. Just any empty table, because, you know, yes. servers will get that. Um, Thanks for clarifying. Yes, of course. Yeah. Well, just in case. If you're at home watching, <clears throat> you ever had a nice party. 
<laughs> now you know you can just put your drink down. Somebody will pick it up. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's good. Life that's tips. That's how right? you do it. No, you're, we're learning together here. That's I how you believe do it's it called you a don't hack. Know uh, life hacks. To do. Yeah, life hacks. <laughs> <laughs> right. You got to be. Uh, so be no with sign the of no sign of manin whatsoever. No. Um, does anyone know how to scry or search for someone? I cannot. Um, oh, I wonder if I can. Maybe you can. It's been so long since I've cast or anything. Or just makes I've his cry. I do. <laughs> it's happened before. Yes. The big scry and scry. <laughs> uh, nobody's going to talk to me. Point for I'm just, I'm looking for the robot guy. That's all I wonder right now. I don't know, nobody's looking for me. Looking for the what? The robot guy from outside. He was with, um... Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm still I'm, looking for him. I'm track. I'm looking for um, Balabar. I'm short. Okay, so as you come up the stairs, Balabar kind of backs mm. into you. He's he's doing <laughs> this, <laughs> this, and he bumps you and turns around. There you are, <laughs> Balabar. Do y'all remember Baldora from Brinjanar? Yeah. Yep. Oh, she's outside <laughs> asking for us to all meet her out there. So she has something What's to show us. What's she doing here? I've no idea. I tried to ask her, but she wouldn't. Uh, she wouldn't say nothing. She said the whole party had to be out there talking to her. So <coughs> you and me and Vor? Where's Vor? Uh, Vor is uh, rounding up Roscoe and um, uh, Manon. You, you could probably find me. I'm the tallest, shiniest thing in the room. I'm the <laughs> shortest thing in the room. You guys managed to collect <laughs> everybody. Let's just... You, everybody's collected except for Manon. <coughs> you have not found Manon. You can't find Manon anymore. Why are we bringing Roscoe? He's not part of us. Should we go without Manon? Var has vouched for him. And I trust Var as... Well, more than I trust you. And I trust you more than I trust most people. I don't understand this circle. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Oh, we're together. Oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> should we should we go without Manon since he seems to be hiding? Listen, all right, that guy he pops up, he disappears, whatever he wants. No, no, no. Let's stand here in complete confusion for the next six hours in the hopes that Manon appears. That's a far better choice. Yeah. It sounds like a terrible they idea. Are really we trust we this guy. Why don't you wait here and wait? You're really for him. That's a good for idea. Him. You know what, Brother Bart? He probably tries. It this seems like he's full of air. Like Sorry, it's very, it's very noisy. Room. It's very noisy. When he says like things like that, it just confuses me, and and I I feel like he doesn't actually mean it. And it bothers me, so maybe I cannot vouch for him 100%, but about it's 95. been a pleasure! 95%. <clears throat> Alright, so you guys. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so you guys go. You guys head down the stairs, um, mm. you come around the corner, and um, as you crest the um, we get our threshold, weapons back. yeah, get your weapons back. Yes. As you crest, uh, uh, crest the, the, the threshold, you look to the left where she was, and there is a piece of parchment stabbed in the wood with a uh, short dagger um, where she stood. And, and the guard didn't take exception to her stabbing this <coughs> divine house? He's inside. This is outside. <sighs> and right. she's very stealthy. It's very disrespectful. This Where'd is a very go? nice house. I uh, grabbed the parchment and the dagger. Yep. Placed the dagger in my belt. Okay. And the parchment says... It says, uh... Um, Actually, it doesn't say anything. It reads. What does uh, the parchment read? Uh, no, this is talking parchment. You've probably never seen it before. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it says, uh, <laughs> Yes, thank you. It says, uh, Seek out the city of the dead. Peter will help you. Did you read it out loud? Um, I and just at the, sorry, at the bottom you see a little uh, crest. It's got a harp um, surrounded by a, a crescent moon with stars. Should we roll history or anything to see if we recognize it? Or Sure. All of us? Or? Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, you show everybody? Um, I hand it to um, Balabar first. It's a good choice. I rolled a 20. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> so uh, two, I rolled two a 4. Minus 1 is 1. Um, and that's for a history check. So, um, 721. That was a 7. Um, you've seen this symbol before. Mm -hmm. The city um, of the dead, we said, right? Yep. I'm fine. I'm yeah. looking for Peter. You've seen this symbol before. Um, in fact, you saw it. I've seen you this remember. Before. In fact, <laughs> I've seen this. I remember. Uh, you remember seeing it on um, a letter. I've never seen this on a letter. <laughs> addressed to. It was addressed to. Your great-grandfather. My great-grandfather. 
I don't say that. After he, I saw this on after he disappeared, kind of his belongings were were given out to the family, and you got this letter. Um, what did my letter and say? And it had this this symbol on it. Do I remember what the letter said? I just remember the symbol. Yeah, you For now, let's. Um, that's all I know is that I've seen it before. Like yeah. with a twenty, all I know is I've seen it before. Yeah. I've seen this before. I've got no idea what it is. <laughs> oh, it's a very important no symbol. Important? Yeah. How? It's uh. Can't remember. Uh, okay, well, um, what, what is the City of the Dead? Have, who else have you shown this letter to? I just gave it to Balabar. I handed it to Balabar because yeah. I, I know he's... I'm going to just hold it up to the light. I know he has forgery and I'm, like I've seen him yeah. do documents. Yeah. And I whatnot. sniff it. I taste the parchment. <laughs> it's poison. You die. And I'm like... Um, it's a very important symbol. Then I'll just pass it. Well, it was a heart. <laughs> a heart. Uh, you know that it's the symbol for the secret organization called the Harpers. Ew. Was your grandfather a member of the secret society of Harpers? How do you know about the Harpers? Well, I know many great things. I'm quite useful to have in a party for that very reason. Um, you know that the Harper is an agency. Um, that it, It's a good secret organization that... Um, tries to maintain a balance between nature and civilization and uh, they're at the core of a lot of the major happenings throughout the forgotten realms and yeah, they have agents for this <laughs> what do you what do you know of the harpers well that's all i don't know a great deal but i do know that they are an organization for the greater good mm. they're kind of like a, a pipeline or a gateway between civilization and nature keeping the balance as it were <clears throat> that's right well done. So we can trust them. Thank then. you. And I didn't even need to taste the parchment to know that. But you could still. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I, I suppose a, a little liquid wouldn't hurt. <clears throat> Never does, really. Uh, would licking the parchment? Don't lick the same spot. Either. You can absolutely try to lick the parchment. <laughs> Just the edge. It, licked, it tastes like parchment. <laughs> <laughs> does he get a paper cut? No. <laughs> Give me a dexterity check. <laughs> Believe, <laughs> me. <laughs> Believe me, Balabar. I know how to lick paper. S S natural one cuts his tongue off. <laughs> Bleeds to death. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is there something? Yeah. I'm it was worth a shot. It really was. You also know that the City of the Dead is one of the wards, because you've been to Waterdeep, is one of the wards within, uh, and it's the only legal place to um, inter or, or bury the dead within the town. It's this massive area of Waterdeep. It's a cemetery. All right. And it's a big walled cemetery. Okay. Uh, okay, should we ask him? Not gonna ask. And uh, you seem to know a lot about this symbol. I do. Do you also know about the city of the dead? Oh, yes, of course. That's the only legal place to insert <laughs> the dead. Good. The giant walled one? Are we talking about the same one? I'm sure we are. Yes, that's the one I know. So of. this is where we're headed then? And we must, se so. must seek out Peter. 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 Shall we? Roll it. Great. Here's your parchment back. Thank you. Um, on. Do you know how to get there from here? Let's see. Yes. I do. It's about a half an hour walk. Do we need this <clears throat> Peter first? I believe the parchment said we should meet Peter. Peter. I, I did not read it in full. Just mm. It says, yeah. go to the city of dead yes. and ask for Peter. Are you sure about Peter. the directions this time? Peter. Because Apparently there's the only hitness. one Peter. The other ones have probably died. And are buried there. I'm sorry about what you were saying. Are you sure about the directions this time? Because you haven't always gotten them right. Oh, that's true. You know, I have a wonderfully witty joke. It's about a pot and the kettle, and they're both black. I'll have to tell it to you sometime. In the interim, though, um, I do believe I know where I'm going this time. However, if I don't, does anyone else know anyone better? Perhaps? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, well, then I defer, of course, to your superior city-finding. Okay, we'll follow you, Roscoe. Uh. Let's go. 
All right, so you guys follow Orozco. It takes about half an hour <laughs> through the dark of night. Um, it is... What day is it? Can you see okay? No. Yeah, we'll it's like the fourth... Line. It's the fourth day of this ten day, right? Or, uh, yes. <coughs> yes. It's the fourth day of this ten day. Um, you so, you know, it's kind of mid a week. Uh, streets aren't that busy. No. Um, but there's still some bustling about. What's that? I'm hit by smell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything, anything, I thought I no. said we just go there, we just go. Yeah, you yeah. just go. We're just going. Um, you get to uh, the City of the Dead, which is a massive walled, and these walls are like 10 feet tall, yeah. and they surround the entirety of this vast, almost as far as I can see on both sides, um, the walls stretch. Uh, you get to the, to the to a gated entrance <coughs> that you know is a gated entrance, and there it is closed, and there are two guards stationed at the gate. Should we? And you know that there's there's like three gates. This is the main the main gate. Do I know the guards? No. No. Okay. Should we should we talk to the guards or I should we walk just up and I say oh. we're here to meet Peter? <laughs> Who? Peter. He says, carry on. No one is allowed in the city of the dead after after dark. And um, is Peter? I hand him the parchment. What? No, what? Are you he what opens it doing? up, he says, Oh my gosh. This guy. Um, come back in the morning. What is he doing? What in the morning? Doing? I don't know. We were told it's to come right away. By who? We're going to go. Uh, sorry to cause you trouble. Come on. By the author of that letter. Who is? Do you not recognize that symbol? Uh, I don't believe I do. I don't think they're part of the club. <laughs> <laughs> Do I see him, or are you right beside him? I'm saying it to you. <laughs> <laughs> he is uh, stage whispering into your ear. Uh, the other guy says, carry along. Well, okay, thank you. All right. Okay. I turn around. Like, okay, so what do you guys do? Like, like, when was the last time a gate stopped us from getting into a place? Like, let's just throw our grappling hook over, climb over, get on with it. We might not even need to throw it. Um, you can do some fancy... Flying thing. I, it's true. I can levitate. Oh, yes. you're like an elevator. Um, right. We yes, did that exactly in Ike's like So we can ride him you up did. and down. No, you aren't there. But him and I did that in Nightstone. He, he levitated a rock creature. Uh, pray tell, Bella. But what is this, this elevator you're speaking of? It elevates. Oh, like a like a levitator. Like a levitator. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll go first. I can climb. I <laughs> try to climb on your back. Give me an athletics check. Uh, first of all, where are you guys deciding to do this? Uh, down the down the road, where it's very quiet, where nobody can see us. Well, and it's very oh, quiet. I cast. I, bet I could throw you over there. Oh, oh. Is it last? without trace. With, uh, How long yeah. does it last? An hour. Okay, so you have about half mm, uh, twenty minutes left of it. Okay, so you apply that to the party. Yeah, can I choose to extend that? Give me stealth party? checks. But I have. You have to wait till it's no, over. I got or, a hook. Why don't I just throw my hook over? Cast another one. Well, why throw so, a hook when I could throw you? But can I, so I would have to cast another one. Who's going to throw you? To them? Yes. Okay. No, no, no. No, you can just decide. <laughs> it. Okay. Okay. You. So I, 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 <laughs> I, I throw into the. Oh, hold on to the rope. Oh. I throw you over. Okay, we all so have to do stealth checks, and then I climb up the rope after. I'm just hey, Curly, Mo, stealth checks. <laughs> okay. Uh, Twenty. <laughs> What's that? Twenty, not net. Oh, uh, twenty-two. Nat twenty. I got Nat 22, 20. and noisy <coughs> e over so here. So 30. Oh! No, no, that's uh, without my actually a 29 with a nat 20, so. They both got natural 20. 30, so that's 39? No, no. Yeah, because that's where the trace adds 10 to it. Oh, 33. Oh. Well, that was 33. 33, 39. 32. 32. 30. You guys we're, are so We're good. liking this die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no kidding. <laughs> Which is quite impressive for the beacon <coughs> in mithril armor. Well, here's oh, the yeah, yeah. I don't get the advantage know, on stealth checks in mithril, so. It's great. What All right. was your roll? Uh, 20, not natural. So 30. Nice. I had a 22. Nice. All right. So um, uh, I need... So who's you got going a 22 over first? total? Uh, I'll go first. Kay. No, 32. With me. Oh, okay. Give me an athletics check. Wow. Uh, well, who's, how are we getting over? I'm I'll telling you. I can throw you. He wants you. to throw me. Throw <laughs> Listen, I'm... I'm it's not the hold, going over that bothers him. It's, it's the like landing. It's down on the other side. <laughs> you hold one end of the rope. No. I... Take... Take my grappling hook, hook, hand it over to and throw it there. the Janassi. Oh, yeah, because you could just float up. Yeah, the Janassi. Uh, how high are the uh, walls? Ten feet. Okay. Take this, please. You, you secure it. Hook it up, course. please. I levitate ten feet up. 
and hook it on the wall. Okay, give me a dexterity check. Okay. Silence. Yes. Well, you rolled a 39 at the... 22. 22. Uh, you have no problem finding a really cool n nook and cranny to it's the coolest think it's pretty. Yeah, it's in there. It's a dude. It's a dude. Okay, so now that that grappling hook is uh, nestled in there, I want you guys, we're going to take a break. Take a short break, and we're going to do a giveaway. Nice. Um, which is great. Yes. Yeah. Uh, does that it include a bio break? Yes, it oh, sure yeah. does. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys are going to do a bio break, go yeah. do that now. Okay. Um, and then we'll uh, do some giveaways. Do Just don't block the camera too hey, long. Yeah, I think I'll do that. When you're out, can you grab some paper towel? I yes. have paper towel right here. Never mind. Because I spilled uh, half a ginger ale on my laptop before this session. Yes. SMR. Wait, I'm going to come out with you. All right, so here we go. So we're just going to take a really, really quick short break. Uh, don't go anywhere, folks, because we're going to do yep. a giveaway right now. So as is typical uh, for our giveaways, the way we do giveaways is that if you mention a friend in the comments with um, with the hashtag sour milk um, so uh, mention a friend a hashtag sour milk uh, and this is a friend who you think will enjoy it again yes. this is a shameless plug to get people to watch our stream <laughs> yeah. make sure you th it's somebody that you think will enjoy our, our, our stream not just your grandma um, who's on Facebook because she may not like that um, she might so if you do that, uh, mention a friend, comment uh, in the comments, hashtag sour milk, yep. and we are going to give away a t-shirt that looks like this. Nice. All right. Uh, we have limited sizes left, so I apologize if we don't have yours. And we'll also send you a WizKids Mini. Um, I know that uh, the fine folks at WizKids were watching today, mm -hmm. and so we will be sending you a WizKids Mini and a t-shirt uh, out this week. So, again, hashtag, sorry, uh, mention a friend, hashtag Sour Milk, and then we will be drawing at the end of the stream. And then if you got chosen and you had to go, uh, we will contact you um, after that. Oh, and um, one last thing. Uh, if you're watching next week, the, uh, the, the special hashtag will be Sour Grapes, also known as McGill. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's very good. Right. I need a bio break. So right. um, before I go, though, this is a great opportunity to check out realmsmith.tv to pre-order our encounter and our layer crate. Uh, we have a monthly subscription crate that we've launched. It will ship in June. Pre-orders open today with the discount code realmsmith10. And if you do that, you will get 10% off your first crate or your entire purchase? Is that what it is? Yeah, Realmsmith 10, all lowercase, all one word. If they use Realmsmith 100, do we give it away free or? No. Oh, no, okay. And Joel, uh, as you are watching, if you could um, put the link to uh, the website where they can do that, that would be amazing. Uh, so check that out uh, now. Become a member of the Realm as well. It's $5 a month, and that gets you access to the private uh, Facebook group for the price of a, of a Starbucks latte. Uh, you get seventeen dollars. You get seventeen dollars <laughs> for seven. If you and three friends sign up, it is the price of a Starbucks latte, um, and uh, you will get exclusive content, videos, um, early access to videos, as well as the opportunity to kind of have secret votes that will change the uh, course of an adventure, um, and uh, exclusive parts to tutorial series. So we're launching our Beholder tutorial series. Part 5 will only be available to uh, members of the realm. So head over there, become a member of the realm, check out our crate. I am going to the washroom. Talk to these guys. All right. You got any questions for us? Baron Elf. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. go that way. Sorry, yeah. guys. Oh. <laughs> Our studio is a little tight quartered. A little bit. Yeah. And I don't know why I'm talking like McGill right now. <laughs> it's a little cozy. <laughs> God, it's tighter than a dwarf in here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're off. We're not, we're not right yet. Right? <laughs> we're, we're, we're definitely right. Oh, we are. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry. We're still on the air. <laughs> Apologies to all you dwarfs out there, but you know it's true. I was so inappropriate. <laughs> Not cool, man. Not cool. To no, dwarfs. No, no, no. To to dwarfs. We're fine. Um, yeah. Any 
So where is uh, Manon? Not that I'm upset he's not here. He's in Vegas. He's in Vegas. Okay, is he yeah. gone for like a couple months? Or? He's getting an uh, operation done. <laughs> oh, no. All right, all right. Well, that's right. She's in Vegas. She's going to be back. Yeah, so. she will be back. God, she is going to be so much more fun to play with. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't feel it. I haven't, I haven't lost a friend. I've gained a sister. Awkward? Yeah. Not awkward. Not awkward. No. no. I'm just reading the comments. <laughs> Head down, face shielded, reading the comments. Yeah, that's good. No. Yeah. Uh, who's, okay. on, who's online tonight? Um, we have Joel Oje, Ben Moore. And I Joel. just signed on, so I don't see any other people. Who's Ben? I don't know. One of our fans. Hey, Joel, you got a 50% chance of winning the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's more. There's, uh, no, there's more people, but this is there's nine people <laughs> watching, okay. but I don't I don't know. I don't know names. Uh, so, yeah. So, feel free to what's the, message uh, what's the in. I've got know where you're uh, watching from. or from the horn? Uh, yeah. If no, you have yeah. any, okay. any questions about... I mean, I guess you can't really see what's, what's under here. We haven't seen what's under here yet. But we could, because... Um, we we could. Jay's uh, not here. Was, we could totally be dicks. Yeah, we we definitely could. Sneak a pee. Oh yeah, I don't want to start doing that um, now. And then rocks fall and everybody dies. So you know, there's a chance yeah. Gavin will text our DM when he gets back. I'm not. I'm saying it's gonna happen. There's, there's also a chance. Yeah. At which point, I guess I could roll a new character. I mean, I've already done it once. There's so. actually a really good chance that he's just gonna watch this. Hi, Joan. Anyways. Hi, Julia. Are they get they watching? People yes. watching. Is your mom is your mom watching though? No, girlfriend and friend. Hello, friend and girlfriend. And Brandon yes. Perkins is watching. I am. Perky. I am watching. Hey, Perky. Your, girl, your, your <laughs> girlfriend's watching? She was. She's not telling anymore. Do you want me to just tone it down for her sake or for yours? Or? No, no. She can take it. <laughs> I'm sure she can. Yeah. Yep. It's getting worse before it gets better. Oh, no. There's still no. a lot more this night. Wait, it gets better? <laughs> well, yeah. But usually when you're not here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow! If anyone needs to be uh, sobbing in the corner. Don't go in the arena with war! Dish it up. You can't take it. <laughs> wow. Uh, sorry, you sorry. You'll, you'll, get, you'll get yours. <laughs> So I'm guessing this is going to be the City of the Dead or whatever here, right? Uh, wow, probably. I'm it's going to, uh, just so you know, I'm going to loot every crypt. <laughs> <laughs> so be you prepared be to, bar to fight just... some undead. <laughs> be prepared for a lot of uh, sneaky bowel movements. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so is this reaching No, back that's a call. But, uh, a call back. Okay, so... Stone. This is yes. a callback to a game before we even and started other filming. Jeff. Yeah. Oh, the one that they liked before I showed up, yeah. The I'm showcase. the surrogate Jeff, apparently. Other, other Jeff. <laughs> no, he was a Giaf. Oh, he was? He was a Giaf. Yeah, he was a Giaf. He also played an Air Genasi, though. So oh, did he? He did. And he was a he, he was an Air Genasi. He was an Air Genasi rogue. rogue. Did you just yeah. want a Genasi so guys, Jeff? Is so, that why uh, the reason he you are? <laughs> Didn't you decide Would, uh, to win? Uh, no, together. I did not decide to be. Well, okay, you gave me a couple choices, but the other one sucks, so. It was Genasi or a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, well. <laughs> well for oh, it looks like they're leaving the tree behind again. <laughs> like an end? Yeah, like, like an, an end. <clears throat> Have I seen oh, this tree before? Not warm. Then the I'm a little under the weather, gotten, folks. I apologize. Oh, then the conversations man. would have got yeah. shorter if he was an end. All right. Um, but the game would have got a lot what longer. What smack too. were you guys? We we just thrown the the hooker over the wall, and we're all climbing over. <laughs> oh dear. After, we're climbing over. What is the it? Wall. What is it? Grappling hook. Grappling, Grappling hook. hook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ben Moore says, "I thought the garbage bag was a map." That's funny. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, do we have lots of hashtag sour milks? So Ben Moore just asked, uh, "What classes are y'all?" Yeah, if you guys want to go uh, around okay. quick and do a quick thing for the people that have just joined us, and then we'll jump back in here. Okay, I'm David. I play Balabar. I'm a rogue gnome. I'm a I'm a liar sometimes, <coughs> and sometimes. I take things that are rightfully mine. Sometimes you're honest, but we don't believe you. That's not true. Where Where are you looking when you say this? Are you down here, or at, is Dave, is he the camera? You should look at him when you talk then. <laughs> what is 
happening right Sorry. now? <laughs> oh no, it's over here. It's over here. Hi. Go on. More? Normally he's drinking milk. Um. Okay. Sorry. Uh, my name is Brandon. I play Vor, who is a half orc, half drow fighter, background gladiator. And what do you play in game? <laughs> Just David. David, well done. Well done. My name is Todd. I play McGill, who is a wood elf ranger. Loves the wood. Um, my name is Jeff, and while I technically don't have any class at all in game. I play an air genasi with blue wavy hair, and what's my name? Oh yes, Rascu to Hossbottom. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> nice. Bard. All right, so yes, you guys, bard. Bard. class, bard. class. You, you guys have effectively secured uh, the grappler hook to the top of the wall. Um, I scurry over. You. What do you do? You're up there first. Well, up. I'm. I can float twenty feet, so I can literally just float over the wall and then pull back. Okay, down so again. you levitate. Yeah. So you're not allowed to. You're able to float. Remember, this is something that we dealt mm. with with yeah. with you. You have to basically propel yourself somehow. So you can like levitate and climb over the wall and like push yourself. But you have to be able to have some sort well, of. Well, as an air gymnast, I'm always moving, so I just let my own gentle wind. No. Put, no? Yeah, no. Okay. No. I think of like zero. Levitate G. basically just yeah, it's just zero G. Mm. So you actually have to like. Can he use his own bottle then of I, gas? Then I do this motion Just to you move <laughs> you get two swimming. feet over the wall. <laughs> Anyways, you get over the wall. <laughs> yeah. You get to the other side. I, yeah. I could propose no that while you're up in the air, I'll throw you a stone and you can catch it. And then the momentum will carry you over. It's really wow. tough looking. It's physics. Okay, so uh, that's your physics lesson for today. Physics. Um, and all right. if you're at a party, you can just... <laughs> what do you do? Uh, I climb over. Okay. Uh, what do you do? You, you, you can get a flex check? Nope. Athletics check. Everybody, give me athletics checks. Natural twenty. You get over. I don't even use no my legs. No problem. Just like this. <laughs> over. You backflip over. You don't. You don't need, need an thing. athletics check because yeah. you're already over. Well, no. Apparently, I do. So I'm gonna Does do he? athletics mm -hmm. levitation Does he? check. Uh, <clears throat> no, he, you don't need it. No, you no don't. sorry, you don't need it. No, because you're. I have no problem. We're just screwing with you. Twelve. Okay. You get over no problem. Not twenty. You Me get too. over no problem. Okay. It's this nice. thing drills. You guys get over. You guys are wasting. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. All right. So you guys make it over onto the other side. Um, you are surrounded by gravestones and mausoleums yes. and crypts, um, pretty much as far as the eye can see. What do you do, Peter? I guess we just walk. Do we see no any light anywhere? Like we, most of us have dark vision. Uh, do we I see any like fl I glimmers yeah, of light sure anywhere? Do we see any shadows check. of people? <clears throat> it's gonna yeah. be good. It's gonna we be good. Be quiet here. Sixteen. Sixteen. It's a good one. Uh, seventeen for me. Um, you see a glimmer of what appears maybe to be torchlight, maybe a couple hundred feet, uh, cresting a hill. Okay, so I would see it too because we had the same perception yep. roll. Yep. <clears throat> um, let's make our way over to that light. Balabar, you see it as well. I do. Should we continue to stay sneaky? I We're going to move stealthily. I've uh, extended pass with a trice to the three of you so we can move and not be detected. Give me a, you, give me a um, wisdom saving throw. Ooh. Oh. This could be bad. It yes. could be really <laughs> bad. <laughs> Ooh, natural ah! one. Natural <laughs> one. Oh, no! oh, oh, all the wrong. Um, all the oh, wrong. You get this sharp, throbbing pain in your chest. Mm. Um, right center chest. Mm -hmm. um, and it's so sharp and so sudden that it causes you to fall to one to one knee. All right. Wow. Um, you you guys see him kind of crumple to one knee and clutch his chest. It's all that milk. He's having a heart attack. <laughs> There's too much fat in that. It hurts. It hurts. Okay. Very bad. I run over to Vor. Um. I. I'm not even sure that answers. You're in pain, but is it is it debilitating, or is it? Can you still move, or would cure wounds help? I don't know what to do. I couldn't keep standing. I, I might if I push through, but I've never felt pain like this. And it's gone. It's it's gone. You did it. So I stand 
cultists, perhaps? Stand back up. You've never felt anything like this. I've never felt anything like this. We should <laughs> definitely speak to your doctor. It could have been a s- stroke. I've been eating so healthy. Or a stone. <laughs> it's that milk. It's the fat in the milk. What do you guys do? It's clogged in your arteries. I'm fine. Let's continue. I don't um, see low cholesterol. Cautiously, because we don't know what um, caused him to fall down. Oh! Mm, no. But doesn't it all seem uh, suspect? Um, almost magical. That he was struck like that. Yeah. Vor, what were you doing just prior to being assaulted? Just walking with you. Mm, that would be a good enough reason. I, I can think of nothing I have done other than what you have done. You didn't touch anything. You didn't know what just happened. Well, then I suppose we should keep walking and see what happens. I'm gonna. Uh, I've got this amazing lantern of revealing. I'm just gonna fire it up. Alright. I mean, I'm assuming that it came with oil in it yeah. for one sure. use. Sure. So, with a pint of oil, yeah. you can go for six hours. Okay, so it's a regular you lantern and it, it lets you know when there's invisible creatures around. Is that right? Yeah, so it's a bright light in a 30 foot radius. Wow. Dim light for another 30 feet. Invisible creatures and objects are visible as long as they're in the lantern's bright light. It's a hooded lantern, and so you can adjust its brightness with the hood. Okay. Um, you want to do this when you're stealthing? Because immediately you're past a lot of traces. Well, that's not true. You can still, I would say, at disadvantage. Like a ghostly stealth train. Disadvantage. Uh, do we really need a stealth over there? Aren't they waiting for us? We don't know um, if that's but them. We don't know if there's other guards inside, or if the guards at the gate will be able to see your lantern if you light it up. We could give it to Roscoe. What's that mean? Oh, he could carry it. He can't see anyways. So we'll just stay a little further away from him. I don't follow. <laughs> you cannot no, see I do, but we'll it's not happening either. <laughs> I know, but it's not It's not whether or not we can see. It's those seeing a lantern lit. But they won't see us. It is a true concern. Aye, but if they come for him, they, we're all going to be involved. But they won't see us. <laughs> I get your point, but I'm not doing that to all somebody right. I've invited here. All right. They don't want to do it. Well, you know what I could do? I could cast invisibility power myself and then carry the lantern. So all those see is a ghostly lantern, which of course would cause no cause for concern. It's not fun that way. Let's just walk towards uh, the light. I see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is there anybody who doesn't have dark vision? You don't. I don't. It's just him. Right? You don't have, I dark. have dark vision. You do? You do not have dark vision. Correct. Um, right <clears throat> now there's enough moonlight that you can see fairly dim light. And so you're, you're okay without... It's not pitch darkness. Okay. So let us stay safe. Okay. So you guys start to head over. Uh, I need you guys to make... Oh, gosh. Uh, a death save? What's your passive perceptions? Mine. 14. 14. Passive perception, buddies. 16. <laughs> 16. Okay. So the four of you... They're passive perception buddies, too. Um... That is the only thing we're buddies on. Just so far. As you start to kind of move along, you guys are still passing without a trace with your crazy yeah. rolls. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, you start to see, uh, you come to a, to a path. You're about halfway between uh, the flickering light and where you are, and two guards start to walk along, kind of the, turn a corner, and you see them coming up the path with the lantern. Are there any mausoleums we can hide behind? Uh, give me an investigation check. Uh, 19. You see, 18. Uh, not enough for all four of you, but there's enough kind of structures that you can definitely kind of. I go behind one. Okay. What do you guys do? I still want to be able to <clears throat> see where they're walking, but that I can duck back. It's obvious based on where we are that we see the guards coming. He ducks off behind a mausoleum. It stands to reason we're all going to try and do the same. Okay. Uh, so you guys all duck behind. And um, and the guards pass. Do we scatter behind different notice. ones? Yep. Yeah. Uh, right. And you guys, you, you wait until the guards have passed uh, a significant distance, Schlankies. and then uh, and then sneak past. Sneak past. Okay. <sighs> Let's reveal the map. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. So, so if you want to learn how to make a graveyard at night, 
<laughs> you make a normal graveyard and you put a black bang on it. Okay, so we're going to have to fix some of these. Give me a tutorial on that. Uh, so I, one here. Oh. oh this is, this is cool. This is a very nice paper craft. That's cool, eh? It That's is. like a little hill. Is this the kind of paper craft quality <laughs> that we could expect from a crate? Of yes, some sort? it is absolutely oh. the kind of paper craft quality. This is a Fat Dragon Games uh, set. It is, uh, the, <clears throat> yeah. This is not the one that's in our crates for this month, no, however. We don't okay. know. Nobody knows what is in our crates for this month because it's a mystery crate. Apparently, Vore does. So then it might be it might what's be. in these mystery crates. It might be. That is true. Very nice. Very nice. All right. It's nice. I, I assume. I assume that's the direction we're coming. Is from. this where we? Is this where just because that's down? that's where the gate is, maybe. So we probably would have gone around the thing, then we walk around, whatever. Are, are we, we on that? Are we over there? Uh, yeah. So um, nice. Actually, there's no. <laughs> there's no wall there. We're gonna have to say that there's no wall there. There's no wall here. Yeah. No. Mm. Just, so we're just kidding. <laughs> just Get kidding. The wall out just of kidding. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Um, so you guys approach um, this scares me. the area. Yeah. And Freeze. you see a grave digger <laughs> by this Don't fresh grave. Uh, can you guys put yourselves at the foot yeah. of that? And you totally did a tutorial on this guy, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Can, can yes. I, no, I didn't. No, I did. I posted it. Yeah, that's a Reaper Bones song. mini. Yeah. 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 Because he's sexy. Like, can I show the camera? Can I show him? Yeah, sure you can. Because he's he's like really cool. He's on Instagram somewhere. Yeah, hey, we did some OSL. Yeah? On yeah. Him. yeah, he's nice. he's cool. He's a cool guy. Okay, so his name's here. Kevin. Um <laughs> as you guys kind of approach, you, you notice Peter. that the, 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 the there's a bit of a hill that goes up. Yeah. Uh he stands uh in front of a freestanding mausoleum, which is here, and he is currently digging. Uh, and he's got a, a torch on the ground beside, uh, sorry, a, a lantern beside him. He looks kind of like a thin, kind of gaunt fella from this, from this distance. What a creep. Okay, uh, how far is this? This is 10, 20, 30 feet. Oh, so he's up. a crypt keeper? <laughs> Something like that. Okay. So movie man now, one. Um, just okay. Yeah. Do you know what the distance is quickly on minor illusion? Out of for what? On minor illusion, I think it's. I don't uh, know. It's only like thirty feet. What or are you guys something. doing? Who's leading the party? I need a <coughs> a, a marching order. Yeah, please. Um, I'll take the lead. And <coughs> I'll go behind you. I'll take the rear. Listen, I'm yeah. No thanks. <laughs> I'm going to um. I want to um. Kind of scurry, scurry, scurry. I'm gonna scur scurry ahead of them to within 30 feet. Okay, I'm gonna need you to make a stealth check. Fresh Sheesh. stealth check. Yeah, so I want to get. I need you to make yeah, a stealth check before I roll. With yeah. to my outside of my uh, spell. Okay. Uh, 22. Okay, so 32. Mm -hmm. um, and on the these. Uh, nifty fat dragon tiles. Has to be within there is a grid. You can look very yeah. carefully. On these there is. No, here oh, no. too. Look, even see here, the rocks? The stones? Yeah. There's, there's, there is a grid. Okay. So I want you to count your actual distance and we'll do turns that way. Not initiative, but but whoever wants to go. Okay, so um, I can move within 50, right? Well, you can move 30 feet, right? That's I can move speed, 25, 25 but so you can do double it, movement. Sure. 50. Yeah? yeah. So these are what? 30? Yeah, 5 feet. So each. I could probably get to like here. Okay. For for fifty, it would be oh, more than that, no? Five. Yeah, because this is thirty 20, 25, plus 30. twenty. He has to be within thirty feet of me for the uh, yeah. So if you went diagonal, okay, a bit, yeah. yeah. Jason, I guess he has to be within thirty yeah. feet of me for pass without a trace to be effective. Yeah. So you 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 step out of that thirty foot thing, and all of a sudden, uh, the shadows aren't as deep yeah. around you. Um, but you seem like you're you're still pretty confident in your ability to kind of sneak around. Okay. Okay. What do you guys do? What do you guys do? Um, He's still just digging. Can I, can I hit the grip there with a maximized fireball from there? Sorry? I'm Whoa! Kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
Okay, so I'm up here. Are you, if you, are you guys coming closer? I, I follow after Balabar. Okay, I see them going, so I'm going too. Okay, so we're all, we're all just like booting <laughs> it over here? Just, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna. So then the spell maintains. Okay, so I'm just gonna. You think that's Peter? I've got no idea. Yeah. I've got an idea. <laughs> so I'm gonna move again. 10, 20, I think 25 beside this grave it would be 10, 25. I want to get within 30 feet of him. So, sorry. So that's 10. Where do you want to get? Within 30 feet, but without being seen. And I want to... I want to use my minor illusion to... You know, I'm going to go up to here. Can I go up to the corner? Sure. And I want to throw a minor illusion back here of a voice going, Peter. <laughs> <That's laughs> that nails it. That'll, that'll definitely get us the answer. Yeah. <laughs> um, he... Uh, he kind of looks up like this and not startled. He kind of puts his and you've gotten closer to him. He's a gaunt human male, white, long, kind of stringy, typical kind of grave digger, nasty mud up to his knees. Yeah. Um, he kind of puts his uh, shovel down and he kind of looks behind him and kind of looks around. He doesn't see anybody behind him and he looks around. Yeah. You do see his hand go to his side, like under his coat. Okay. Um, you hear dogs in the distance. Yeah. Apparently. Okay, so he... he I've looked, he's, moved up. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's Peter. I think it's Peter. So, 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to be behind here. Okay, so he turned back. He put his he then he then he looked forward and he put his hand yeah. on his yeah. on his uh, six shooter. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back and say I think it's Peter. Right, you cast a minor illusion that called somebody's name. I'd have turned if you you cast Peter behind me. I mean, he was calm. He didn't freak out like I was like. Hey, Hammond. <laughs> He's he was calm, like as if he if he. He's a grave digger. He's around dead bodies all the time. Of course, he's calm. All right, just a second. I'm gonna go back here. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again, and I'm gonna go, Harold. With a minor illusion. Yeah. Again. Right here. Um. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, he again he looks back, and he starts to kind of back. With his, with his back to the mausoleum, so he'll back right up against with his back there. Oh crap! Okay, well I'm. Yeah. Can, you think I can make it back here, DM? Do you think I can make it back here without him seeing me? I sneakily go this way. I'm still past without I a need trace. Another all stealth that, right? roll. What? But I'm still within past without a trace. Sure you were, but I just need another stealth roll. Twenty-seven altogether. Okay. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna just say, Gibby Harold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if his name was Peter Harold? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right, both right. 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 Uh, should we? Do wanna, should we just go talk to him? Roscoe, what do you do? I mean, there's four of us. There's one of <clears> him. I mean, this, he's not going to cause trouble. He's just a grave digger. Maybe he knows. How Peter. far away from him, the grave digger? At this point. How far are you? Yeah. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Wow. 60 to 70 feet. Yeah. So two and a half turns? No, you go 50. And we're not an initiative yet. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, but we we're still do doing 60. Just yeah. All right. I just try. I just started striding forward then. Okay. I'm going to scooch back. Can I striding go back here again? or stealthily moving? Sure. And I, I just want to see, can I look through no, the cracks wait, wait, in the wait, door? Wait, 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 wait. Walk him normally. Okay, so he's not trying to do stealth. Go but he's with the path of the trace. Yeah, but so he's not going to do can, a stealth check. Yeah, but if he doesn't do a stealth check, he can just, you just wanna make lots of You want to go your full yeah. movement right up to him? Yep. All right, what? Like so you, he starts, you, you kind of stroll in, and he uh, and he oh. looks up at you. Oh, I'm coming back to watch this. Um, and uh, <laughs> and uh, he says, uh, who goes there? Well, my name's Rasku. I'm looking for a gentleman named Peter. Any idea where I might find him? 
Ha. Roscoe, you say? Uh, yes, I did say that was my name. And he looks around and says, And where are your friends? Well, they're nearby. They're just not as um, comfortable, I suppose, being in a graveyard as I am. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, y'all, come out. Um, sorry, is it safe for them to come out? I'd say so. I see. I'm going around <laughs> this way. Did you guys all kind of come out? Yeah. And he says, I, I've been expecting you. Veldora sent you. I, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. He jumps when he sees you and his hand, <laughs> his hand goes to his side like this, and then he kind of, his hand comes down. Yeah, I was just, I thought you were Peter, because like, I called you earlier. You're a sneaky little bugger. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. are you Peter then? I, that's my name. You're not Harold though. No. So Peter, um, why was it, what are we doing here exactly? How how can how can you help us with whatever it is we're trying to accomplish? Well, I, I have something to show you. Lovely. Is it inside the mausoleum? This way. Let's go. He starts to walk this way. I need you to make another wisdom saving throw, please. Okay. <coughs> I'll use the same die as last time because it went so well. Eight. Do you like the black one? Black one's pretty good. You, this um, one's been nothing but Jared. That same pain hits you, but it's not as debilitating as it this no. time. Um, Actually, he might infect her. But actually. unlike when the pain hit you last time, yeah, good call. Um, you feel kind of this your your vision narrow. Okay. Like the darkness starts to kind of close in a little bit. Okay. Um, and other than just the deep pain in in your chest, you also feel kind of like a like a like a surface tingling across your skin. Oh. Almost like needles being poked onto your skin. Um, you guys all kind of turn to him as as he as he as he obviously is wrapped with pain yep. once again. And um, you hear commotion and movement around you. Roll initiative. <sighs> I get in, I get a um, advantage on initiative rolls. So I have a eighteen. I have twenty-one. I have nineteen. Hang on one sec. Um, all right. Uh, 25 to 20. What's yours? 21. 21. Okay. Uh, 15 to 20. Roscoe, what's that? 19. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 10 to 15. Malabar and... 13. 13. <laughs> Who's going first? Stop. <laughs> Who's going first? Oh, I'm going first. <laughs> all right. I'll, I'll be last. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Then I can finish off your kills. Yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> Bad income. <laughs> oh, um, <darn>. You see, <laughs> as, you start, uh, as you guys kind of peer out and you start to hear uh, movement and... Um, the ground doesn't shake, but you feel there's commotion around the gravestones. Oh, gosh. Um, as you look out across the area that you're in, um, you see... Hang on one sec. There's all these little, like, trap mm -hmm. doors hidden in this paper craft, by the way. <laughs> you see, oh. you see uh, uh, motion and uh, movement starting to pierce the ground uh, around the, the, the gravestones. What do you do? Uh, McGill, you were first. Oh, I shit my pants. <laughs> 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 we 
What do I do? Uh, they haven't actually come out of the ground yet? No. Okay, so I'm going to uh, have a ready action. I am going to draw one of my newfound magical arrows from uh, Lord um, Roaring Horn. Yeah. That are plus one, plus one. Yeah. And hold that action. Okay. For a target to appear. Okay. Roscoe. Uh, ready my rapier. Yep. Um, I'm trying to decide whether I'll get uh, Vicious Mockery laid up or Bardic Inspiration, but probably the latter. So you have to be, so you're holding an action? Yes. You gotta be really specific about what your action is. When this happens, I will do this. Okay. Um, when they, when whatever comes out of the ground fully materializes, I'm going to attack the nearest one and... Uh, cast Bardic Inspiration on whoever's closest. I'm guessing that'll be McGill. Okay, Bardic Inspiration? What does that do? Uh, that's where I have to say something funnier, wittier, poetic, or sing, and then that'll give you an extra d6 to use on any particular attack roll or ability. What do you say? Well, I'm oh. working on what I was going to say. Oh, go I, need, I need to see something action. first. Oh, <coughs> so, okay, so you're holding your Bardic Inspiration. Yes. Okay. Um, all right, so you're waiting to see something. You're going to inspire McGill when you see it. Yeah, okay. I can actually inspire anybody. Is it a bonus think. action? It is a bonus action, but I think I can only uh, inspire somebody. I don't know if you can hold a bonus action or not. Let's see. You can hold a full action, but I think a bonus action you can do at any time, right? How's the DM feeling today? It's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty happy. A little under the weather. All right. Okay, so let's <laughs> let's do this. Let's think in this case, yeah, I'm holding sense. my rapier as an attack, but. When my turn comes, I will also initiate Bardic Inspiration. Sure, I, I, I think, yeah, I think as a bonus action, you can do it. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, we're going to say yes, and then we'll find out later. Uh, okay, uh, Balbar. Can I, can I speak and hold my action? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going, the action that I'm going to hold... Speaking is free action. ...is uh, Poison Spray. Okay. Um, and I'm going to ask Peter... Yeah. Assuming that's who he is. Yeah. I'm going to say is, ask him, is this what Baldora wanted? <laughs> Absolutely not. I think y'all brought this. Uh, Vor. Do I believe him? I mean, inside check. I think I believe him. All right, so I've got <laughs> a not very good. ready to attack <laughs> action uh, for whatever direction we think the enemy is coming from. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I sorry. guess I could ask Peter, do you know what could cause such <coughs> pain in a chest? <clears throat> do you know what could cause such pain in my chest? What's too much fat? Uh, so he uh, he muscle. says, uh, maybe indigestion. <laughs> like he looks kind of so he's in the graveyard. He doesn't know. I didn't, um, no. totally explain. So I, when I see somebody, yeah. a target, then yeah. I want to use my point spray. Okay. And yeah, I mean, that kind of goes for me too, so. Okay. But not poison mm -hmm. spray. So what do you what are you Axe ready? Swing. Axe swing? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And as always, it's my silver dax. Okay. Can I cast barks? Could I have cast bark skin on myself and held in action? Uh, what is bark skin? It's bonus. Uh, it adds. Uh, just gives me a stronger, um, a more AC. Oh, apparently not that. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, is it is it cast? Uh, what's the casting time on? Is it bonus action or is it? Uh, action? Sorry, it's one action. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, no, that's uh, pass within a trace. Um, bark skin is yeah one action. Yeah. Sorry. No. Okay. Um. The pain well, is oh. done. What's that? The pain went away. Yeah, the pain went away. Uh, it's still dull though. There's still a dull frog. Okay. But it went away. Oh, nice. Fancy. Can I stand him up? Yeah. All that work filling that hole, and these guys just ruin it. Wait, 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 wait. You guys don't see these. Okay. A Christmas calendar. <laughs> yeah, there's chocolate. Oh, uh, no, it's an undead. <laughs> <laughs> um, why did they I bury them with you. weapons? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know? As you watch, skeletal hands protrude from the ground. Clawed fingers <clears throat> um, free themselves from a, a once fairly permanent grave as skeletal creatures step out. So we can use our actions to cut off their hands. So, uh, yes. So, who had <laughs> held actions? All of us. All of us. Okay, so let's go in initiative order, McGill. What was your held action? Uh, fire and arrow. Okay. 
So which one? Uh, one of those magical arrows. No, which skeleton? <laughs> uh, this arrow. A skeleton. <laughs> which one? A. We see There's two. two of them. Yeah, A and B. No, I need to know <laughs> which one. This guy. Okay. Um, plus six to hit. It's been so long since we've had combat. So I'm rolling a d20, right? Yes. It's probably a necromancer or something. Six plus one plus six, 13. <clears throat> Uh, that is a hit. Just. Just, yes. Uh, D8 for damage. And um, I'm going to put Hunter's Mark on him. Okay. Where my D8 go? Hey, Gavin, can you make the music behind us any creepier? Oh. Possibly? Again, DM controls <laughs> the music, and you've offended him twice now tonight while we're in the middle of a battle. Thank you. He, he laughs when he's offended? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's a horrible thing. Oh, I offended him. It's evil laugh. Yeah, yeah. What's he going to do? Sudden pain in your so, chest. Sorry, was that eight points of damage? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, sorry. Um, Ten points of damage. Ten? Yeah. Okay. You take the arrow. Um, one second. Do you want to turn and face him? I'll just turn you around there. Hello. Uh, and the arrow goes uh, through uh, one of his eye sockets and out the back of his skull. Oh my god. <clears throat> and, he, and he kind of staggers like this, but he keeps coming. Whoa. Mm. Look at you. Uh, who's next? Uh, Roscoe, you. you're next. Balabar, you're on deck with your. Can I take a boat? Or um, my, uh, I get two attacks. Yep, sure do. Okay. Nice. So that is a definite hit. Okay. What is it? Uh, 18 yep. plus 6, 24 plus 1, 25. Okay. It's a hit. Um, oh, good thing. Yep. 4, 7, Hunter's Mark. Ooh, um, 13. 13 points? Yeah. Um, you hit it again, right smack in the, in the, in the head, and the skull flies off its shoulders and it falls into a crumple of bones in the in the grave. Which one's down? Uh, um, Roscoe. Okay, there's only one other skull. What was your held action again? You're gonna. I have my rapier. Yeah. But I'm also gonna. Okay. I'm gonna announce. Unfortunately, you can't reach. <laughs> the, you can't reach him from where you are because you can't move as a held action. But I can still so do you, my bonus. So you can still do your bonus. I'll right. you can still do your bonus. I'll just announce my bonus then. Okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> so you're just gonna speak, even it, though it's gonna do nothing. I'd be like, no, no, you will see your dialogue. No, it'll do, it'll do something. Oh yeah, you just could, can't attack. Couldn't you use a magic attack? Which does what? Your what? Your Inspires. Oh, because you were specifically you, holding. Yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah. All right, go ahead. The men around you are strong and true, and filled with honor and strength and class. It's unfortunate that you're attacking us now because we're all going to kick your ass. <laughs> very nice, very nice. You get a, a D6 to... D8, actually. A D8 to what? A D8 to anything you want. Okay, you had to roll a D8. Uh, anything. Yeah. Look that up. <laughs> I don't know if it's anything. All right. Um, I should know, but I don't. Because I don't play Bart. Okay. Um, Sorry, one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Okay. Ability check, attack roll, you can... Well, Add D to that. Uh, Balabar, you're up. Vor, you're on deck for your held actions. He's too far away from me. Okay, so both of you lose your held actions. Uh, yeah. It is the skeleton's turn. Um, can we just they keep go first in them? initiative? What's that? Can't we just keep holding them? What do you mean? Our held actions? No, no, they're they done pop. after that turn. All right, they pop. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they're going first in initiative order? No. The skeletons? No, you guys went first. And you held your actions. So if we hold them, don't we still jump back in initiative? No, after only if you have a surprise attack. Mm. Right? So at this point, you guys held your actions. He took his shots with ranged weapons. You can't move as part of your held action, so now it's their turn. Okay. Uh, this skeleton comes out and just shambles at you and runs at you. Does he? He sure does. And he's going to attack. I'm going to... With his 
short sword. 16, 20. Does that hit? Um, yeah. <laughs> That's six points of damage as his short sword comes across. I use my uncanny dodge okay. to take three points. Okay. You take three. All right. At this point, you see more graves start to Ooh. pop open. Peter, what did you bury here? Is it a zombie? zombie. These aren't uh, repped zombie. accordingly. Uh, or incredibly accurate. This guy's dead. He's dead. Sorry. Accurately. Sorry. We, we, uh, we promise better production value. Like yeah. But this is so this un is undead and a chubby. Where's little... the green screen? Is that is that what a dwarf zombie looks like? Is it Halloween again? <laughs> it seems like. Is this? I, I, oh, <laughs> it's Jinx's family. Oh, that was oh. Jinx's family. It's like, hey guys, am I late? <clears throat> All right, so Where'd we are do surrounded. This is a little overkill. Uh, what you see is... How did Jabba um, the Hutt get here? There's another one right there. Uh, uh, so what you see is shambling um, undead uh, uh, creatures who still have skin on the bone. Um, uh, they kind of climb out with these jerky movements. Um <laughs> they start doing this. Uh, they still, um, Just still for wearing. The record, we did a flash mob of that. Still wearing the molding, uh, decrepit, decaying uh, clothing that they wore when they were buried. Um, Which and apparently the, wasn't and, that long ago. And they carry the as they start to push through, the smell of decay uh, comes to your. The stench of decay comes to your uh, no nostrils. Um, so that guy climbed out, and he is going to move. Um, let's do this. So this guy climbs out behind you, Vor. You don't see it coming, and he takes a swipe at you. Okay. That's a fifteen. Did? It? Yeah. It's a miss. Okay. Total um, nice mithril armor, please. You feel uh, this this, <laughs> this grasp on the back of your leg, Lich, please, and, and you look back, <laughs> and, and it barely moved you, but it's it's grasp, it, it's grabbing onto your, its arm has come out of the grave, and it's grabbing onto your, uh, right. onto your onto your leg. And it looks like this undead dwarf, missing half his face and his eyeball kind of hanging uh, from a socket. I'd like to shoot at a very unimpressed look. Yeah, <laughs> boot him. Um, it's hard to do this. I do more damage with my axe. Uh, this guy reaches up to grab at Roscoe, uh, and he he uh, he kind of attacks it and kind of hits you. He's got a stump arm, and he starts to kind of hit you like this, and doesn't do anything. Uh, that's a uh, sixteen. This guy comes up, Balabar. Sixteen, does that hit? Yeah. Sixteen ah. hits. Yeah, it does. Four pounds. Um, and he kind of uh, he kind of jumps out of his grave, and he just kind of sm slams into you and grabs you. Take uh, seven points of damage, please. Uh, okay. I guess. As they start to come out, this one comes out. Can't quite make it. I like when I just that guy can't things. quite make it. Have I <laughs> counted for everybody? Yes. All right. Is the top of the initiative order. Um, McGill, you're up. Roscoe, you're on deck. You're okay. I put away my bow. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I missed Peter. Missed Peter. Peter, Peter, Peter. Peter, Peter, Peter pumpkin eater. Uh, Peter's kind of like watching. Um, you guys kind of do your thing. And he, and he sits, <clears throat> he kind of backs off a little bit. Um, Opens up his 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 uh, kind of overcoat, and you see that there's daggers, like throwing daggers, lining yes. the inside of his coat, like this. And he kind of like opens it up like this, puts it aside, and just kind of watches you guys. <laughs> Thanks for the help, um, McGill. Okay, so I'm going to um, 
do three attacks on this guy. Yeah. Right, um, my extra attack and my bonus attack. Yeah. So, with uh, my short swords, Remember, Roscoe, you're on deck? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely a hit. 25 to hit. That's a hit. On which guy? On him. Short swords? Short swords, yeah. Um, Sorry, and from, from where? From here. Okay, so you got to move to be adjacent to him, yeah. Okay. So um, I've transferred Hunter's Mark to him. Okay. Um, So the first attack does uh, 10 points of damage. Okay. I swing again. Yep. Uh, 22. 22 to hit. Okay, it's a hit. Seven. Nine points of damage, so 19. And then, so 19 points of damage so far. So that's... Um, my double uh, dual wielding okay. and extra attack is a single. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, so how many points is that so far? 19 so far. Okay. He's still alive? Yep. Okay. Well, he's still dead, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and a one. And a one. Natural and one. And a one. A natural one. Okay. So you uh, you cleave across his chest, and, uh, or actually across his stomach like this, and it, his entrails kind of spill out of the, out of the stomach, and he stumbles forward. You take your other sword. How would you have two short swords? Yeah. Right. You cut open his, his gullet, his belly, spills out. You cleave into kind of his clavicle area. It comes right out the, the back, and like maggots start to like spill out and climb. Um, oh, I I had a uh, D8 inspiration. Does that account for all those attacks? No, so you, you, attack? you, you would have to apply it to one. Okay, so I'm going to apply it to the first attack. Uh, at the first. But you've already successfully done it. Like so to you, your damage you, roll? Or? No, you, you no, can't. No, it's attack roll. Ability, uh, attack, ability, uh, or yeah, you've already, you've, already you've already hit. And you can't do it on the one because the one's an uh, automatic okay. fail. So you okay, can't so I can't. Yeah. Uh, and then, so, so you, you, you get three attacks then? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm dual wielding. You open up his stomach. You you cleave through his clavicle and you come around like this, and your sword um, digs deep into his thing, and it's stuck in his ribs, and you're trying to kind of pry it loose, and you can't. Okay. Currently. Currently. Um, Roscoe Balabar, you're on deck. Okay. I'm gonna uh, turn the one that was pawing at me and attempt to uh, this guy okay. here. Yeah. And uh, stab down with my uh, rapier. Okay. Uh, 11 to hit. Uh, yeah, it is. No wow. kidding. All They're right. easy to hit. Big, fleshy, undead dummies. Six. That's a six. Uh, so nine points of damage. Nine points? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. You kind of poke down, because obviously it's this piercing weapon. Yeah. You pierce down like this, <clears> and it goes <throat> into its, deep into its stomach, you pull it out, and <laughs> And it continues to, to 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 flail at you and and, and yeah. Uh, Balabar, you're up. Vorya on deck. Okay, so I'm gonna attack with my long sword. The guy right in front of me, bastard. Yeah. Um, and I get to sneak attack right on him, or no, I guess not. But this guy would actually, because he's within five feet of, an, of one of his yeah. enemies. Yeah. So I'd like to use my sneak attack on him. Okay. So I'll long sword him. Okay. Long, short sword Sorry, hit. short sword. Yeah. It's a 19 to hit. It's a hit. Which means I get... Um, uh, 6d6. Wow. Jeez. Uh, I only have 5 in my hand, so I'll start with those and we'll see if we need another <laughs> one. Oh, thank 66? you. 6d6? Yeah, it's a uh, d6 for the normal hit and then 5d6 uh, for my sneak attack. Wow. Nice. That's amazing. Not bad. It's a lot. 
Uh, <laughs> rogues. 17. 10. Is it? Yeah. Plus three. <laughs> <It's only 20. laughs> that was amazing. Thanks a lot, Rain Man. Uh, <laughs> 20. 20 total damage. Um, <laughs> Turns out you're also a math wizard. <laughs> we just wanted to speed the game along here. You were taking too long. Sorry. <laughs> we found out you're good at something. Uh, okay, so, uh, sorry, how many points of damage? 20. 20. Um, onto what? This dude. Yeah, so uh, you uh, <sighs> just open up his stomach. Everything kind of spills out, and this nasty kind of like ichor splashes on your face, and he basically folds halfway over yeah. and on the ground, dead. I am going. Uh, okay, I still have a. Can I use my my dagger attack to attack somebody else? Yes, you can. It's a second attack. Right? And I yeah yeah. And I can I can speak, and right. So I I just get to yell over to Peter. Why did you bury them with weapons? Valid question. <laughs> Rhetorical. Only the skeletons have weapons. But yeah. R- rhetorical right, question, yes. but I'm. Anyways, yes. I'm gonna dagger this guy. Yeah. Uh, it's an eight. You know what? I'm not gonna bother. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so who are you attacking? Doesn't matter, does it? No, it does. <laughs> uh, him. Yeah. Okay. So you. Uh, so <laughs> nothing but air. Yeah. Um, <laughs> nothing but that. Uh, who's up? I said. Uh, Vor, you're up. Okay. Um, so I'm going to attack, move, attack. In a Kay. previous game, we. Kay. Yeah, you know it's okay. So, my first attack is on this guy. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to chop down in a way that will hopefully free your sword while also doing full damage on him. Is that something that I can attempt? Absolutely. With disadvantage, absolutely. Well, I mean, a straight cut down towards his blade through the flesh. Does that count? Yes. Uh, you might clang off his blade when you do it, but it would still free it. Okay, I'm gonna say that the accuracy of, or how good your roll is determines if you successful in doing what you want to do. All right, let's do that instead. That's twenty three. Nice. Wait, no, that's twenty six. Yeah. So you cleave down, and and it's uh, damage. Which one's this? The little one. Jabba Junior. Jabba Junior. Yes. Wow. Jabba Juice. Um. Yeah. Thirteen. Damage? Yeah. So you basically cleave it this way, right down the, the, and it goes right down, almost right through his pelvis, straight through. Your sword comes free, and he falls. You're the welcome. Ground. And then I go over here, <laughs> and I attack the uh, skeleton. Okay. Like That's my the, kill. <laughs> it's like a macabre operation. <laughs> what you were trying to say is uh, twenty, not natural. 20 not natural. Uh, that's a hit. Nine damage. Nine damage. Oh, shoot. Okay. That one hasn't been hit yet, right? No. Okay. You uh, cleave off one of its arms. The arm that's not holding to the sword. In a spray of bones. Um, at this time... No. <laughs> Famous last words. At this time, Peter begins taking out his knives and you, jumps in the fray. You feel a rumble <sighs> under the ground. A and a what's that? Again, a no. Ramorez? No. An undead Ramorez? That's actually a good idea. That was a terrible idea. Stop giving um, ideas. The ground before you disintegrates. Just to your left, uh, there, uh, right in that area. Yeah. And a green ray shoots out of the ground. Um, oh, mother gay. Relieving a gaping, steaming, massive hole. Oh, no! No! Ah. no! For no! all of us. Okay, <laughs> you distract that. I'll get the tiny hut going. If you can manage yeah. to do it for ten minutes, we're fine. As a cylindrical creature, Man. who hovers, sure, who hovers in place, Crazy, hovers out of this hole. Um, can I get nature checks from you guys? This eyeball is the most um, ridiculously. Do, do I get any advantage being from Gauntlebrim <clears throat> ever? Uh, I don't is that know. Crazy. No, I would say no. What's no. the check? Okay. Nature. Is this that Crazy. thing from uh, Stranger Ooh, Things, Mighty Gorgonzola? No. <laughs> crit. Wait, you what crit it? On what? On, on a nature check, yeah. which wow. is normally a minus one. 
Red go. Oh, okay. I got a four. <laughs> I have an 18. I created a four. I'm so happy. I have a 15. A four. A four. A four. I rolled a four. <laughs> We've got the frame without the overcam, eh, yeah, Kevin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so, uh, there we go. So, uh, what you see is what you know, only fabled, you've never seen one, uh, which is called I a Beholder. That. I did that earlier. You already did that. Um, a denizen of the deep, a legendary, fearsome creature um, that few live to see the next day. That's the reason we don't know exactly that, what it right. is. Because I know the name of it. Dies. Or, yeah, you know that it's called a Beholder. Okay. Um, but this one is different. Friendly. Um, you know the the first Happy thing you notice is okay. <laughs> the, the the first thing that you notice is its main eye is clouded, over. Its right. jaw kind of hangs off the side. It's got holes and rips and tears in its skin, um, and it looks kind of somewhat mindless. Um, and the stench of rot hits your nose as soon as it surfaces through. So would I know that that means it's an undead beholder? Um, give me a... Or not, give or not nature. 20. You got 20 on his nature check. Yeah, I would yeah. say that yes. You would you would imagine that this is an undead beholder. Uh, okay. Or a beholder. What is that? Or a undead beholder! Um, <laughs> this is what we're going to do. Watch hang out on. for its eyes. On. Everybody hang on. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. So we're going to bring back the voting system Whoa. for this. <laughs> oh, are we voting uh, what I stock it? Joel, <laughs> I know you were on the uh, on the stream right now. Um, do we need to take another break quick before oh, we... Oh, yeah. I get really? it. Do we? You, yeah. yeah, we've been drinking beers all night. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's it's it. just... We're about to jump right into this zombie beholder yeah, let's battle. Do and we're going to do a books. quick thing. Bio break. Yeah, Bio break. break. Yeah, I'm going to explain how the voting works. Um, and uh, go, hurry up then. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Five, five minutes, not Just even. vote for him Wait. to go away, okay? Can I ask <laughs> Peter a question? Oh, no, not until they're back. Yeah, because they, they need to hear it. Okay. The eye lens on this thing is amazing. Okay. All right, so um, this is what... Uh, actually, I want the guys to hear how the boy works, because it's pretty funny. Um, just to clarify, the description you gave may have been an undead... Uh, beholder, or it may have been one that was in its late 80s, like it's the cataract. And that. Yeah. Just so we're clear, guys, if we beat the beholder, yeah. when I do the poem or the song, it's going to be a full strength fucking A class beholder <laughs> that we beat, okay? Are we will legendary. <laughs> That's your job, sir. All right, so um, first off, uh, I want to, I told uh, Vanessa I would, I want to give a shout out to Vanessa from the Crafting Mood. She's joined us tonight, she's watching now. What, what? Yes. Um, she has just launched a Women in Gaming. I totally probably butchered that, but she has a channel. Wait. Uh, Vanessa, if you can uh, just link in the comments to uh, that group. It's a really awesome thing. I know Satine Phoenix is already really, really excited about it and is retweeting it and stuff. So, awesome. anyways, um, awesome. definitely link that. Vanessa, if you've heard me, um, we'd love to, to, to send... Uh, awesome people uh, your way for that. That's awesome. Um, again, uh, if you do, if you uh, mention a friend that you think will be interested in our stream in the comments with a hashtag, what was it? Ha oh. Hashtag sour milk. sour milk. Sour milk. Hashtag sour milk. And a and, and name of a friend that you think will enjoy this, you will be entered into our giveaway tonight. Um, so definitely do that. Uh, again, only people... Uh, ladies only, though, <laughs> Crafting Muse says. It's ladies only in this group, um, which uh, which is awesome. So check that out, ladies, please. Um, you guys almost ready? Uh, again, oh, we, we need to check out uh, pre-orders on our crate for our encounter and our layer subscription monthly crate. They're live on our website at realmsmith.tv, as well as join uh, become a member of the realm for all lots of really awesome, cool stuff. Um, so check that out. Uh, also, we reached 3,000 subscribers on YouTube. We're so super nice. excited. Thanks for all your support, guys. Um, check us out on YouTube. We post lots of things on there, lots of tutorials, and this will be on YouTube shortly uh, in this week. Hopefully, uh, we will upload it uh, for everybody. Are you guys ready for a Beholder battle? 
Uh, yeah. uh, undead beholder. That's uh, this beholder that you see Ooh. on the tabletop uh, will be will star in our next tutorial series that I will be posting hopefully this week. We're working really really hard to get it done. Uh, we've partnered with WizKids and Vallejo to bring you an amazing beholder. How to paint a beholder series. I'm going to teach you how to do everything that's on there, including the OSL lighting, uh, and then we're going to do a part that will be uh, exclusive to um, subscribers. Or uh, it'll be exclusive to members of the realm. Part five will teach you how to uh, light it up with LEDs. Uh, it comes with these rays that you can add and these eye stocks that have rays. We're going to give it some lighting effects That's to awesome. all of you subscribers. So make sure that you subscribe, become a member of the realm to prepare yes. for that. Okay, put it down. Let's do this. So the way the voting works. How do I get that? The way that voting works is this. Um, Go to Facebook. The way the voting works is this. Ready, guys? Yep. I am going to put, we are going to bring up the emoji uh, HUD again, and the beholder, for those of you that at home, has certain rays that it shoots from its eye stalks. Oh, gosh. Um, this is the way it's going to work. It's a random roll to find out um, which ray gets shot. <laughs> you guys are going to hate me for this. Um, originally, I was going to say you can vote on the person you think should get hit by that ray. But instead, I'm gonna, we're going to say vote for the person you think shouldn't get hit by that ray. <laughs> then when you, then, then yeah. the person with the least amount of votes gets to make that saving throw and try and, and so we're going to try this. Yeah. We're going to see how this goes. It's going to be chaos. It's going to be awesome. So the happy face you, is what you're looking for first. I'm voting. Yeah, Do you um, think the fact that you had to laugh your way through that <laughs> Not boy, might possibly face. detract happy from the emo, Bellabar. emo. Emo. Sad crying. Okay. McGill so this is what we're gonna do. I don't know how to clear the votes that are already on there. We didn't think of that. The other one. So anybody, <laughs> anybody who's voted already, unvote. What? How do you unvote? Because there's already two and two. Just click the like button again it, on the video. You, unless you voted for for me, don't unvote. Right. So okay. unvote. Or unvote him um, and then vote me. So that we have a then. so they have a blank canvas. Does that work? Yes. I think you should just keep voting happy face. Just ha ha all the way. Ha ha. All right. Anyways, and we're going to try this. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Okay. The beholder, uh, which seems to be undead, no, run, rises run. from the from the uh, gaping TV. hole that it just burnt in the ground, and it turns its gaze towards the party. Um, No voting for yourselves, guys. No voting. Hey, 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 hey. We're all voting hey, for us. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you guys aren't allowed to vote for yourselves. That breaks okay. the system. Okay, well, only, all right. All right. only Roscoe did that. I tried unvoting, but it didn't. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I was trying to unvote. I don't know how to... That's what I was trying to do. It didn't work. <laughs> yeah, we, were, we were just unvoting, Jay. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, we're uh, just yeah, unvoting, work. Jay. The, the unvote button didn't work. Yeah. Ha-ha is what you're looking for. Ha-ha. Give me the ha-ha. Angry face. All and angry if there's face. a... Okay. Hashtag save vor. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the uh, the floating beholder turns its gaze towards the party. Who does it turn its gaze to first? Who do we got? Roscoe. Roscoe's got zero. McGill's got zero. No, no, I saw and like has several zero. sad faces Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Were we supposed oh, no. to vote for ourselves? No, McGill like... has one. We're going to give it a minute. Okay. Because it, it, the, the stream is a little behind. Can it's you... between McGill and Vor. Nice. <clears throat> I saw a couple more sad I saw faces. More bottom. Yeah, I saw more Yeah, I don't know how actually. long it takes to catch up here. <laughs> We're trying this for the first time. Yeah. It's going to be fun, I swear. Oh! Angry face? Boy, Roscoe, I'm sorry. What we happened? just got an angry face vote. Who doesn't hate Roscoe? <laughs> he turns his, his gaze towards you. I would like you, Roscoe, to make a... Death saving throw? Yeah, yeah, sure. Constitution saving throw. <laughs> okay. I hope you die today. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Yeah. That is a fail, sir. I guess that. So. You are... All of a sudden, this uh, uh, this cone of energy shoots out in your direction. Um, as it hits you, you feel your body start to seize. Okay. And almost like rigor mortis sets in, where, where you can no longer move. 
All you can do is move your eyes. You are paralyzed. A paralyzed creature is incapacitated mm -hmm. and can't move or speak. The creature automatically fails strength and dexterity saving throws. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. Any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit. The attacker is within five feet of the creature for a minute. You guys realize I'm the only one that can raise someone from the dead, right? And, and he just killed, he just attacked me. Okay. Just throw it out we, there. We Listen, it's not our we fault. Didn't do that we to didn't you. do that to you. The, the viewers at home decided that that should happen to you. <clears throat> They're the ones Or that to all of us. Maybe all right, everybody all clear your votes again for the next shot. How do you clear the votes? I, don't know. I think you just... just can, can you, can you, you guys clear the votes? Um, can you just click off the... Do you, do no. you guys have... I think if you just click off your like. No, it like if you click again. like again, so that it just goes back to like. No. No. There's lots of votes going through. That's because we're all tapping the shit in. <laughs> <laughs> I keep trying to unlock Anyways, myself. How do I get on? All right. Where so um. Is this Realm Smith TV? No, it's mine. Zombies turn. No, skeletons. Sorry. Okay, so that skeleton turns towards you, Vor. Takes okay. a swipe. All right. 18. Uh, hits. Okay. Sorry, 18 plus 4. So 22. So, so yeah, that hits. Go <laughs> okay. Uh, you take you 3 points of damage. Wow. All right. As his sword cleaves into your side. Zombies. How many zombies we got there? Uh, none. They all ran away. Um, they were scared. They were scared. They, they, they saw the uh, that zombie. And they... That zombie uh, approaches you, Vor. This one? No, that Seven. one there, yeah. And it uh, kind of starts to swing at you, and you parry its hand okay. with your axe. That other one moves towards you, Vor. This one? Yep. How far? Uh, right to you. Okay. Oh, gosh. Um, that is a 20. Hits. Uh, five points of damage. Okay. 20 hits. As it claws at you. Um, where are the rest of them? That one moves over to McGill. Works like just played on it. Hmm. Uh, that one moves over to you, McGill, but you hear it at the last minute and are able to parry it aside with your sword. There are more over here. Where are the other ones? I can't see because of the mausoleum. This guy is right here. This guy is dead, so there's just this dude beside... Roscoe? Uh, Peter and Roscoe. Okay, the, he's going to attack was uh, Peter. What? He attacks Peter? Yeah, and Peter um, uh, easily grabs his arm and, and kind of like fights, uh, uh, struggles, and, and, and uh, parries it. Um, it is Peter's turn. Peter uh, grabs his dagger and he cuts in, but it just like butter through the skin. <sighs> um, McGill, you're up. Like butter. Uh, so I turn to that mofo. Yep. I'm going to um, dual wield and bonus attack him. Okay. Um, Hunter's Mark transferred to him. Okay. Uh, that's a 12 plus 6, 18 to hit. 18 to hit. That is a hit. A palpable hit. Yeah. Um, so, a short sword attack. And I can only add the inspiration to the attack, not to the yes. damage. Yes, correct. Okay. Make it count. So, 2d6, that's a 2, 3, 5, Don't worry, I'm gonna do uh, for your next 8 turn. points you of damage for the first, oh, right. I can't talk either. second attack. So, say that again. 19 <laughs> yeah. plus uh, 25 for the, uh, yeah, the dual it. building. Yep. I'm done. Um, <laughs> one, I four, got this. Um, I'm going to set you free, brother. Mm -hmm. set you free. 15 so far. Okay. And damage? 15 damage. Yeah, so you far. cut him down. He's dead. Oh, no, you don't. Never mind, sorry. Okay, and bonus action, or okay. bonus attack. Yeah. <sighs> Two. He cut the beholder uh, down? Eight total. Yeah, that's a hit. And it's a hit. Yeah. Oh, he's going to use yeah, the inspiration. Yeah, no, it's a hit. That's a hit. Just. Just. Nice. Um, four. Roscoe, you're on deck. Six. Do what? <laughs> okay. Nine points oh, of damage, so we said 15 plus 9, 24 action total. Damage? Yeah, he damage. falls into a dead. crumple on the ground. All right. Get rid so of I him. I just sliced and diced. Uh, I'm going to hold my action. Okay, got it. <laughs> um, Balabar, you're up. Warrior on deck. Okay, so I'm going to run over to here. 
Yeah. I am going to uh, procure a lemon tart from my satchel. Yes. From my clutch of holding. Yes. And I'm going to throw it towards the eye of the beholder. Okay. And Tash the Which hideous eye? Be laughter. Specific. Tash's mm. hideous laughter nice. at the large eyeball. I've been practicing with these tarts for a couple of weeks now. <laughs> I'm confident in my abil ability to hit such a large creature. I throw the tart. Me. I wave my feather. I say some words. And he falls down, incapacitated laughing. If... He uh, fails his saving throw. DC 12. It's a, it's a wisdom saving throw, right? Wisdom it's saving a DC throw of 12. has to be the 12. 12? Yeah. yeah. Please fail, please fail, please fail. Um, you throw the tart, and it goes into his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and out the back, because he has a hole in the back of his head. <laughs> and he goes, dick, 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 dick. Tasted great for a second there. But did it work? And he goes, ah. <laughs> so no didn't, didn't work. No. Damn it, I wasted a tart. Distraction. <laughs> um, do you want to move anymore? Is uh, what he's doing on, on uh, Big Jeff over yeah. here, does it seem like a concentration thing? No, it's just a, it was a one-time zap from one of his eye stalks. <laughs> <laughs> he just one time puke. Yeah. And now he's paralyzed. Yes. Oh. That's balls. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. I'm going to, um, again, I'm going to speak to Peter. I'm going to say, why did you bury this here? <laughs> and I'm going to finish my movement. That's what I was going to say to him before I got uh, paralyzed. No, you know, I'm going to stay there. I'm going to stay there. I got no. I got okay, uh, Gavin, um, can we, you know what we should do is clone that Facebook like or make a, like a new one. Do you know what I mean? Like clone that layer and see if we can put a new one there without any likes. We need to find out how to clear like it. Reset it to zero? Yeah. I don't think it's going to work like that. I think it's looking at a particular post on Facebook. It's I looking at the current yeah, ones. Yeah. Uh, we will figure this out. Well, you know what? If people continue to like, then we can still just take the lowest one. Yeah. Okay. Which will always be me. That's no, right. Not necessarily. That's right. That's there, absolutely. The highest correct. is only four, and then three is in the other well, one. Well, what we could do. One is person be, likes you, Jeff. Yeah. What we, one person likes yeah, you. Your mom's <coughs> watching. What we could do is before the next vote, <laughs> she voted yeah. for we me. record uh, how many did. votes each person has, yeah. and just deduct, uh, take that away from whatever votes are there to come up with the number. Okay. Enough. So this is, you know, <laughs> this, this is this is what we're gonna do. Uh, start voting now for the next for, for who you do not want to get hit by the the the, the ray, the next ray from the beholder. Yeah, that's happening. Um, and Vor, it's your turn. Tell, tell All right. View, tell viewers to actually click the like button. Yeah. Because we don't have a tabulation of the like button, so that way, if they do that, it should actually remove. That's what I thought. Yeah. If if yeah, but people who are watching it and have now left. Get, you can't get, can't get that back. So we gotta figure this out, That's folks. Okay, I'm the favorite. We're still okay. working out the kinks here, but thank it's you, fun. Everybody. I just want to thank you. It's fun. So yeah, so Happy vote for the person you do not want to get hit by the next ray. Happy face. And I guess in that point they would unclick and then click again, so it'll change their vote. Vor, what do you do? I come over here. Oh. And I'm going to make a hack at the back of its head. A hack attack. Hack attack. Careful, the there's back. a hole in the back of his head already. Yep, well, if I'm not going to hit the hole, I'm going to hit the skin. It's, le it's leech and lemon turd, actually. Delicious. Best tasting beholder. Oh, ever. Roscoe's getting up there. No, Good, uh, you're, you're gaining some ground. So 17 to hit. Uh, that's a hit. On who? The beholder? That's yes. a hit. All right. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, that's uh, 12 damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, 22 to hit. To hit. Mm -hmm. And that's 15 damage. Nice. Uh, and I'll action mm -hmm. surge. So. Nice. That's another 22 to hit. Yep. <laughs> I'm trying to find my D6. Nine damage. Um, 15 to hit. To hit. Okay. Nice. And that's 12 damage. Woo! Action surge. Again? No, no, no. I only have one. Oh. But I'm really hoping that I get another one soon. Killer. 
Keep voting the haha -ha so I don't get hit, okay? I'm a little guy. <laughs> <coughs> Do you have a uh, iPhone? Please vote now. Um, down, All right. Um, okay. Uh, Vor goes over and he just starts going postal on this thing, and there's flesh and ichor just flying everywhere. Cuts off one of the eye stalks. Um, it is bloodied. Okay. And then Should we rip one? Just from Vor. When What's I that? finish that attack, yep. I hop behind this. Okay. Oh, he's totally not going to see you behind the tombstone. Good choice. Well, hey, some cover is better than none cover. Thanks for moving away so I don't get my sneak attack. <laughs> you can come to All right, me. so it is the beholder's turn. No. Uh, currently, the votes. Uh, Roscoe has the least amount of votes, but I am not going to do that again to Jeff. Uh, and as a creature, it would not. It would go after the next one. That would be. Uh, so <laughs> Four. there is a three-way tie between Vor, McGill, and me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? What does that do? So McGill and Vor, I am going to split the difference with a d6 roll. Uh, four, five, six is Vor. One, two, three is McGill. Vor, it turns your gaze towards you. Hello. <laughs> what? You know, oh, it's cocked. Door. Well, I am. He does I have am, cover. He does I have am cover. Behind does that some count? cover. Does that count that, that he's got cover behind the thing? He just gets a plus two to his AC, which three, doesn't matter. Three quarters cover. Right? Um, <laughs> I want matter. you to make a DC. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, a, co a Constitution saving throw. Crit. Nice. So that's a twenty-five. Um, <laughs> if you wanted to add my. To yeah. It. Yeah. Does the boulder stumble? The beholder's really scared of me and gives sides. Just goes home. Just gives, um, just, I'm so sorry. Um, you, uh, you, you you look towards it and you go, as it starts to kind of, one of its eye stalks comes up and, and focuses yeah. at you. And you start to see it like, and the same uh, a beam that shot out last time yeah. towards him shoots towards mm -hmm. you. You go, and it hits your armor. It goes, oh, off bear. the armor. And you're, yeah. and you're totally fine, unscathed. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty epic, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, skeleton's armor. dead. Nope, That's skeleton <laughs> walks towards Roscoe and takes a mm -hmm. swing. Can he move yet? Nope. Oh my gosh. No, that was only two rounds. It's only 12 seconds, 60 seconds he's paralyzed for. Uh, that is a, not, it's a crit, automatic crit for you. So you were going to take... Oh, he hates you. I don't hate <laughs> who's who's attacking <laughs> which skeleton's else? attacking uh... I'm playing his game so in a way yeah you're right he does which what what thing is attacking Roscoe uh the skeleton oh this dude yeah skeleton that Roscoe. is six points of uh sorry six 13 points of damage to you oh okay. my balls uh as he uh you see him walk over and Roscoe was and he just slices into him. You can see like the pain and the fear in Roscoe's eyes yeah. as he can't move and do anything. Of, yeah. I, I, That's okay. I've only uh, got seven more rounds. I'll be fine. Zombie. Zombie. All right. <laughs> can you, can you uh, kill the skeletons around me, please? That. Uh, These guys are dead. Yeah, so that one, the dwarf, the other dwarf that's still remaining walks yeah. over to uh, Balbar. Does he fall in the hole? No. Because he can't see where he's going? No. <laughs> uh, that other zombie walks towards McGill. Hello. And uh, the one at uh, Balabar is an a is a uh, twenty-one. That is a hit, and it goes like this, and it bites straight into you. Whoa! Four, five points as it bites into your shoulder. I use uncanny dodge. Okay, two points to you, yes. sir. Uh. That one, McGill stumbles at you and tries to bite you. That is a 21 as well. Ooh, that's a hit. That is, you're going to take two points of damage mm -hmm. as it has a hard time getting through your armor. Like, ouch. Where's your loot? Roscoe, where's your loot right now? It's on my pack. It's in your back? Back? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> Roscoe currently but, has... You know what? <laughs> I, I take that back. You don't know where my loot is. Oh, poor no. Roscoe has currently gone from... One point 
to nine votes. So you oh! stay for the rest of combat. Oh, wow. People right, love Roscoe. you. People oh. love you. Not going to die. Not today. Not today. Not Thank today. you, everyone. I All take right. back everything I thought about Peter, you. Peter, again, will... That's awesome. That's cool. That's cool. Right away. Did you just tap that shit? Can we see where those votes came from? Two daggers shot at that skeleton, and that skeleton goes down from Peter. And he just throws him like, and through the air, takes him out, falls in a mound of. Oh, there, there's a zombie bones. beside Peter over here, too. Oh, okay, that he's going to attack him. Uh, Thanks that is for your a, help, Peter. That is a hit. Um, Peter is going to take four points of damage. Poor Peter. Poor Peter. Uh, You're so young. <laughs> okay. Scraggly white hair. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, okay, we are at the top of the initiative order. People <sighs> remember, vote on who you do not want to get hit by the next ray. Vote who you do not Angry want to hit. Face. Jeff is in the clear. Vote on who you do not want to get hit. Yeah, yeah. I just got shot and at. And again, so the emojis are above their yeah. heads at the top <laughs> of the screen here, folks. So sad face. Well, excited All face, right. wow face, and yeah. Oh, see okay. Dude. Really? Uh, what? Microphone? You're a singer. You're, he's a, mm. oh, he's an artist. <laughs> that's what the face was holding a microphone. Like, that's. <laughs> All right. I'm sure that's what everyone at oh, home God. thought when you did okay. the, the right back to it. microphone okay. face. Okay. All right. Miguel, you're so, up. I'm up. Yeah. <clears throat> um, since it's my turn, can I move past that zombie? You will get an attack of opportunity if you leave its its area. So I, okay, so if I leave its area, I get it yeah. gets an attack of yes. opportunity. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, I am going to dual wield. Yep. On that mofo. Yep. Uh, that is a 14. The hit. Okay. This is a hit. hit. That's a hit. On the zombie. Yeah. Yeah. I've transferred hunter mar hunters mark to yeah. him. Uh, five points on that. First five points one. of damage? Yeah, that's it. Kay. Um, for that first attack. Um, so second sword is a... How many zombies left, guys? Fourteen to hit. That's a hit. That's a yeah, hit. Three. Three zombies, no skeletons. Seven, um... 10 on the second attack, so that's 15 total Kay. thus far, and bonus attack. So another 10? Yeah, so fi Kay. 5 plus 10, Kay. so 15 total, yep. and bonus attack is a 10. To hit? Yeah. To hit? It's a hit. Oh, I still have it. Inspiration or uh, the. Yeah, I'm um, running out of battery. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have an iPhone uh, connector? Do anybody at home have one? Uh, you like that? Or? No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll work. That'll do the trick. Oh, you meant one of those? Like just to plug it into the outlet? Yeah, I got one of those. That's perfect. <laughs> So, okay. 22 <laughs> points total damage. Uh, it goes down. Oh, it goes Is down. Zombie? One second, please. To Chinatown. We're going down. We're going down to Chinatown. Who that? And we're gonna... Where's the... So the guy's okay, not... It goes shot. down. Okay. So he's not... He's, no one's attacking uh, What's-His-Nuts anymore. Um, Roscoe, you're up. No, you're not. Uh, Balabar, you're up. Vor is on deck. So nobody's attacking Roscoe anymore? Not right now. What's the point? You're going to attack Roscoe? Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> for my for my loot, apparently. I was I was going to help you. Your loot okay. and your loot. But nobody's attacking him. He's totally in the clear. The guy attacked him and now he's left. Is that correct? I killed that attacker. Peter killed the other, the skeleton attacker. And now Peter's just uh, fighting off that. So. Well, dang. Okay. Um, so we have, you've got a zombie in front of you, and you've got the beholder in front of you, who is going to unleash a whole not lot of hell on you. He's not unleashing oh, yeah, Jack. Like, I'm just going to uh, attack the little fatty shit. in front of me with my short sword. It's a 24 to hit. 
That's a miss. That's a hit. Sorry, to hit who? The, the, the little fatty here. Okay. I do nine points of damage. Yep. I'm gonna attack him again. If I need to. I only do a, a twelve to hit. Uh, on the beholder. No, on the zombie. Yeah. To hit. Oh yeah, girl. Oh, <laughs> Zombies are pretty yeah. easy to hit. It don't. Don't take away my. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like anyone can hit a zombie. Uh, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a four. So I did uh, thirteen damage. Okay. On a brand new zombie, right? Yes. Uh, he's pr- he looks pretty <laughs> worn out. <laughs> well, what sucks is Roscoe can only move his eyes and everything's out of his view right now. It's All the so action. nice though, eh? <laughs> that he's finally quiet for once. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Tell uh, me how you real, really feel. That's how I feel. Uh, Vor, you're up. <laughs> All right. Ooh, four g- Beholder's four next. Nine. I'm uh, running up. So make sure you get people your hat has like in. Me. Your hat has. People like me. Oh, because you're sad. Nobody wants no. to be sad. Or wowed or angry. They want to be had. Had? Had? Ha had. No, you're, you're um, second. I'm lowest. You're second oh, lowest. Um, okay. I'm second lowest, guys. 17, <laughs> 17 to hit. <laughs> yeah. 17 to hit the beholder. Is yeah. it? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Good question. Yes. Okay. 10 damage. 10 damage. All right. And uh, what is that? 14 to hit. Does not hit? No, it does yeah. not. Okay. So that's a miss, and I go back behind that. Listen, okay. right, listen before the beholder's up, can I just tell a joke to the people at home so they give us a ha-ha? Okay. Uh, that's a yes. So a, uh, a murderer, a thief, and a bard walk into the yawning por- portal. <laughs> Vor says, Who's that? I go, That's Roscoe. <laughs> Okay, so we're finding a beholder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the beholder <laughs> has his gaze to McGill. Thank you, McGill. Thank you. Oh, no! Oh, that's not good. Who do you, who's he gazing at? McGill. Oh, gosh. Disintegration beam? Yeah. A green bolt of energy oh my gosh. emanates from one of its eye stalks. It's the worst one. And heads right in your direction. I'd like you to make a Constitution saving throw. You're dead. I roll a d20 for that. Yeah, and you want to hit a 20 with that as well. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get on yours? I got a four. Oh, and then my that's pretty good. I got three. I modified it with seven, so nineteen total. I, I said dexterity, right? Constitution. Con. Sorry, I, sorry, I meant dexterity. Dexterity, yeah. uh, twenty. Nice. Oh, buddy. Come on. Your legs fall off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dexterity saving throw. Yeah. So oh, even better. Yes. At 23. That's a good one. That's going to be good. Um, right? So you, uh, it turns towards you, and it's kind of, and it shoots that ray, and it, and you, it, you manage to kind of duck under the, or behind the gravestone, and the gravestone disintegrates to dust. Uh, and my pants fill with shit. <laughs> <laughs> zombies. How many zombies? You can't move yet. There's two. No, left. no, no. I ducked behind no, the No, no, no. The grapes on the nice side. You hit the one that's in front of you. And one by, so this uh, one's gone. Peter. Yeah. No, no, no. We already got rid of one. Okay. Sorry, what was that? Zombie in front of Peter. Zombie in front of Balabar. Zombie in front of Balabar. Oh, attacks. Three. Misses. Zombie in front of Peter. Attacks. Misses. Um, McGill, you are. Uh, Peter is up. Misses. Nobody cares much. Peter takes out that zombie in front of him. <laughs> Just <laughs> two daggers, cuts it up, falls dead or deader. Wow, where did you go, Peter? Um, McGill, you're up. <clears throat> Roscoe, you're on. Never mind. Uh, Balabar, you're on deck. <laughs> okay. Such a dick. How, how, many, how far along are we right now at this point? Like four We're rounds in. Uh, how, how much time has Can't passed? Done. How many rounds? I'm guessing passed? about four, so. Yeah. It's like 24 seconds. Okay. So you got like Halfway seconds there, brother. Halfway there. All right. I'll, I'll do I'm it. I'm going to attack the uh, beholder. Okay. 
dual wielding. Yep. Um, is it a giant? No. Would you call it? It's large. Uh, no. <laughs> it's not a giant. <laughs> that nice range your feats, man. Nice try. <laughs> Hunter's mark is transferred to I don't the uh, beholder. Uh, a uh, 23 to um, a hit? It's a hit. It's a hit. Uh, 10 for the first. Dual wielding, second okay. uh, attack. Uh, same, same, 23 again. Yeah, hit. hit. Nice. Um, 12, so 22 so far. Another 12 points? Yeah, 22 total. Yeah, yeah. And bonus, ac or bonus attack? Yeah. Uh, 16. 16 to hit? Yeah. That's a hit. That's a hit? Yeah, just. Just. Two. Five. Uh, and another 10, so 32 points of damage total. Wow. Okay, so you come through. <laughs> You start to slice it up. Its jaw hangs open. Whoa. It you, you puncture its white, nasty eye, and this milky, disgusting substance Milk! sprays out <laughs> in your direction. Cover like and it's it's disgusting. They're missing a beat. It looks like it's <laughs> on its last legs. Uh, it's it's kind of like hovering in place. Um, uh, Balabar, you're up. Okay, is is are you push, are you, on deck. Is pushing or? someone. An action? <laughs> An action? Yes. Yeah. So if I push somebody, I can't attack? No. Fine. Uh, and, and my bonus actions include disengaging. Will he still get an act of opportunity? He still gets that no matter what? If Not I if you disengage. Okay, so can I That's use my bonus action first to disengage so I yes. can run away without... Yes. Okay, so I'm going to disengage. Okay. He's gonna get I am going to He's run gonna <laughs> straight at... What's his nuts here? And Last I want to jump and shoulder check him to try to knock him into the grave. <laughs> <laughs> so that you're safe. <laughs> Can I do that? Yeah. Sure. So he's just like me. I would like you to make a... Oh. Every kind of save. <laughs> just roll for make everything. all the save. <laughs> Strength check. It's going to be good, bro. I'm so strong. <laughs> He's the strongest uh, gnome. I don't know where my strength. Okay, Eva. It's a good one, by the way. My so I'm gonna run all the way athletics. around. Athletics. Let's make an athletics check. Yeah, let's do that. That's not any better. Uh, okay, so I run at him, and it's a seven. So I run, and I jump. <laughs> and I bounce off him. Just check and dunk, and Does I just head. Yeah. Uh, Doesn't he trip over me and land in the grave? <laughs> yeah, I know. That if he rolled a natural one, he would have. Uh, okay, so I push into <laughs> him, yeah, and I just yeah, like yeah, yeah, and yeah. I land. Yeah. <sighs> good try. Dude, I thought you were going to use your disengage to get beside me to attack. I'm trying to save his life. He's safe. There's nothing around. He's safe. You're here. like this. I know everybody's getting zapped. Yeah, <laughs> but if you kill the beholder, then there's nothing really left. To I'm die. trying to save your life. I appreciate the thought. Thank you. Maybe you should throw a tart at me. <laughs> oh, it's too late. Whoa, what would happen <laughs> if he's paralyzed and I threw a tart at him? All right. <laughs> uh, uh, we're getting close Vord. to the end time here. So, Vord, you're up. Kill this mofo! 18 to hit. Yeah. Nice. A 15 damage. Nice. To the beholder? Yeah. Yeah. How do you want to do this? Does that kill it? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what we say in this one. <laughs> How would you like to finish him off? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. No, really? Yeah. All right. Um, I, I, I put 32 damage on him. Nobody noticed. <laughs> I, I would like to <laughs> jump up on the back, grab one of its eye stalks with yeah. my hand, and just yeah. hack on its head until it falls on the ground. It, it does that. <laughs> <laughs> and just like, <laughs> like nasty ichor and milky, white, disgusting stench falls this all way. over you. And it falls, yeah, just be careful with the boulder. Yeah, come on. <laughs> no, I was uh, careful. I was and it falls to its death. It falls and it kills that zombie. All right. That's what it did. That was Vor. That uh, Beholder the is dead. You guys are so lucky. Oh, I do have one more attack uh, that I could use. Yeah, you go. Go ahead. There's All a right, zombie. Oh, I'll, I'll go at that zombie. There's no, Gil, oh, man, you lucky butt. Um, <laughs> 15 to hit. That would have been bad. 15 to hit. The Hits. zombie. Yep. Uh, eight damage. 
That's one that hasn't been hit, right? I hit it. I, I did. Yeah, you did. I did like it's chubby. Um, you did like forty-five damage. No, I did like twelve damage to that guy. All right, yeah, yeah, it's on, on its last legs. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not your turn. No, it's not your turn. No, it's oh. not your turn. It's the zombie's turn. Uh, is there another zombie? No. Yeah, yeah just this dude. Just that one. Yeah. Uh, he turns left. towards you, War, and attacks. He's gonna okay. kill you. Uh, that's a. F He's good. <laughs> There's a. That's a. Sorry, Roscoe. You have to sit out of this one. Uh, you did nothing. What do you mean, sorry? I've been sitting out for the last 20 minutes. Miss. Okay. He goes to bite you, and you are able to, to hold him off with your axe. Wait, what do you go? Um, Thanks, Mr. Condescending. Peter uh, <laughs> starts to kind of circle around this way. Let's just put him like around more. Yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Miguel, you're up. I um, move over and do a wield attack. Okay. Wow. A little excessive. <laughs> I miss with the first attack. Okay. It was a 8. Nope. Yes. 8 <laughs> yes. Yep. Just. Oh, yeah. I still have the. Uh, the yeah. um, I sure do. And you haven't used your attack. Why did they bother giving me the attack? I thought I used it, right? Yeah. yeah. Could use it to knock him into the. Oh, I, I, I um, transfer I Hunter's Mark to it. Uh, so the first, the first strike does uh, eight points of damage. Okay. Still going. Yeah. Still going. Yep. Just. Okay. Bit, oh no! Sorry, he's dead. He's dead. You you <laughs> slice his head clean off, and that's it. Wait, wait. There is silence once again over the seven. Be a backlash, Dave. Be careful. I would like to loot. <laughs> well, it's on his back. On beholder. What's that? Is there anything lootable on the Beholder? You check his pockets? No. He doesn't wear pants. No. <laughs> anything ingredient-wise that might be worth something? Uh, give me an investigation check. Okay. Like Beholder pus? Um, that's intelligence, yeah. right? So that's six. Yeah, no. Everything that you imagine might be worth something is decayed and yeah. okay. dead. This has been dead for a very long time. So I time. couldn't just like cut off an eye stock to use to like slap people? You could, but it's like <laughs> like it's all mush and, oh, that's, and that's okay. yeah, nasty. That's all right. That is nasty. That was fun. All right. Well, there you go. Um, Great campaign, guys. I really no, enjoyed it. Hold on. It. Yeah, we win. Are yeah. we ending? Do you guys wait a minute? Do you guys wait the minute for him to unparalyze? No. Yes. No. Yes, we do. I don't realize that the battle has ended, and I want to keep trying to push him into the grave for his safety. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can try one more time. I'm gonna. I'm so gonna throw another. Me. Another strength Calabar attack. You were gonna regret to push this. him down into the hole. Uh. Th we're ending the session, right? Go. <laughs> <No. laughs> Seventeen. <laughs> What happened, what happened to the 14 that you rolled before the 17? I had an inspiration. Okay, so you I have up. to use right, right now. <laughs> you shoulder him. You shoulder yeah. him. <laughs> and you fall into the grave. I'll be like, you're, you're, you'll be safe in there. And then I'll turn around and see the battle's kind of over. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's an awkward like 20 seconds till he comes back. Uh, that's okay. So uh, you guys just wait. Revenge Eventually you come, you, you start to get feeling pins and needles in your hands mm -hmm. and feet. And you're able to come back. <laughs> oh, let me uh, see what spells I have left to cast at Baldur here. <laughs> PvP, here we go. Um, <laughs> A long time coming. So, so do we notice that he's Congratulations, back? guys, for killing your first Beholder. I, just, oh, I thought uh, you were going to say level 8. It was a, no, uh, not yet. Oh, oh, no, in no. months! We, it's a been, zombie we've been, Beholder. Months. We've been level 7 the whole time we've been so, streaming. So it was That's easier because he's... Yes, it is out. true. Really? We yeah. hit level 7 right before our right very before first episode. Right before we started streaming. If you yeah. push the story forward... We're, we're trying! trying. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Maybe if you push the fo the story forward, or the story, 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 just, story forward, forward. just forget this one. This is <laughs> yeah. work. Push the story <laughs> forward instead of the words. Write it down first uh, next time. Inger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rhyming couplets. <laughs> yep. You would have done it to us. It's true. Thank you, everyone, for watching. We are going to do our uh, giveaways. Woo! Nice. What are you giving away? This uh, hang on. How do I get in on that? I'm just checking in with Joel to see who won. Um, as we do that, 
Um, let us know, guys. Comment in this video, uh, and then when, well, also when we update it on 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 um, YouTube, Twitch. Yeah, YouTube and Twitch. Uh, hang on a sec, guys. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Let's see. Mm -hmm. Fear. What does fear do? <laughs> that scares people. Don't hey, run away. Guys, sorry. From you. I was trying to keep you safe. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> is that what he says? Is that the language? We are gonna do what we typically do. What are you, a bard? Of a, a bard? bard? Absolutely, it is. Oh, sorry. Fuck off. <laughs> okay, so we we typically do, folks, is we roll a, a d10 to find out who has won our giveaway for the week. Um, we have a. Uh, yeah, we have five entries, uh, and we're gonna roll a d10. Somebody. Oh, just five inches? That up. Yeah. Here. That's, that's Actually, pretty... Where's the big red death dice? Right here. Okay, so... hold that up in front of the camera. So every pair it would be like a like. Yeah. Oh no, it's a D10. So, so why well, you could do that, that and then no. divide by two or something? No, 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 no. Uh, like... Math. And add three. <laughs> Not Push math. It this way. Yeah. Push back Flat. Back back. Yeah. Good. Flat, bro. I can't see. You holding okay. it like uh, on like an that? Angle? Flat. I still can't see. This way. Are you you're using you this camera or are you using this? Yeah, we can see it. That's fine. It is just not. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What is it, a 10? That's a 10. Yeah. Sean Halverson. Sean. Sean, you have won our giveaway for the night. Uh, we will send you a Realm Smith t-shirt. Uh, please uh, uh, message us with your si the, your preferred size, and hopefully we can get that size for you because we're running out. And uh, we'll send you a WizKids uh, mini as well. Nice. Which will be awesome. Wow. Sean, congrats, buddy. Uh, thanks again, everyone, for watching. Make sure that you, you like, that you follow. Um, this page on Facebook, and you'll get updated on every time that we play. Um, we're not on next week for this, but we will yeah. have something that comes up. But the following week, we have some fun stuff coming your way. Sean will be pretty awesome. Excited. Sean is pretty excited. Woo! Right Thanks on, for Sean. voting Happy Face, by the way, for Haha. -ha. Yeah. I'm sure you did. And thank uh, you for voting Angry Face for four, please. You didn't. Thank you. Uh, just so you guys know again, head to realmsmith.tv to check out our monthly subscription crate where we send you everything that you need to follow along with our tutorials to your doorstep uh, on a monthly basis. So check that out, realmsmith.tv, as well as to become a member of the Realm um, where you can get access to all of that fun stuff. And if you become a subscriber of the crate, you get uh, automatically you become a member of the Realm, uh, which is awesome. And what's the name we have for that? Huh? Master Crater? Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, you can be an official Master Crater. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Come learn an instructional TV guide. and Check us out on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, it's clearly a face. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we better close the stream yeah. before so, it gets any worse. Zone of Silence. Uh, zone of Silence. Cone of Silence? Cone of Silence? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, it's one of the signs. Anyways, okay, yeah. thank you so much. Check us out on YouTube, Facebook. Like, subscribe, comment, all of that fun stuff. Check out our website. There are lots of cool goodies there. You guys have a wonderful week. Sean, we'll have that t-shirt and that mini to you soon. Say bye, Thanks guys. so much, guys. Bye. Have a great night. Bye. 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 Bye.